Chris, are you uh, recording? Oh, good call. Yeah, I mean, it's rolling. I see waveforms. We're good. We're good there. Yeah, it's well, rolling, rolling, rolling. Obviously, he was preoccupied whether or not he could and didn't stop to think whether he should. Oh, wow. Is that original? Well, I just thought of that now. Wow. Yeah, the really. Did you? <laughs> oh, like, okay. Yeah, oh, like, like the like, movie. Like, like, the, like the guy the, who like, does that. Like the Jurassic what, Park. Yeah. What are, guys, what are you talking about? Oh, the movie we watched. The guy who's like, I'm. Well, I didn't, I didn't watch the movie. I'm Uh-oh. kind of practicing chaos theory where it's just like I'm kind of doing everything all over the place and very unpredictable. You know what I mean? Ah! Ow! You know what I mean? Those yeah, are, um, dude. You know what? Now I understand that really complicated theory because of that metaphor you and used. Now did. I get it. No, you explained you know it perfectly. When yeah. you it's were almost like as if podcasting finds a way. Whoa. Dude. Every fucking week get released how does anyone ever see these there are too many movies welcome to there are too many movies family hello this week on there are too many movies we watched jurassic park for my birthday episode don't ask how old i am he's 45 and uh before we talk about jurassic park we're going to talk about what we've been watching i'm chris collins dude and i'm heel josh Oh, and I'm Alex Good Guy Wilson. I'm just an average good guy, just a guy who does good, cool dude, regular guy. Before That's we talk right. about what we've been watching, five bucks a month on Patreon if you want access to, honestly, a gold mine. The best mm. content we've ever made. We dumb it down for this. It's honestly say- like a mosquito stuck in amber. Wow, it's well all of said. the content that we have. You know what I mean? Well like, said, dude. Yeah. We're tr- by making a Patreon, we're kind of being Mother Nature, as he said. Yeah. It's, in and a way. I'll be- PG. And I'll believe it. In a way. <laughs> you know, I, I looked for a mosquito in amber on eBay for this episode, and I just don't have a spare $1,200 for a rock. <laughs> yeah. <So. laughs> yeah. You got to commit to the bid, Alex. Yeah. It, well, but do you have it for I rock? the country oh okay they've got wmds <laughs> all right five mucks a month if you want access to the better episodes honestly the bonus yeah. we- the bonus weekly ones we do it's way better than this so if you like this you're gonna like the other stuff we save we honestly the best stuff we write because we write yeah it's all on the patreon yeah this Facts. is this is bottom of the barrel off the cuff this is us just kind of you know, kind of going through the motions, working out new material, working out new material. This is this is more of like the 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 fucking what do you call it? The fucking club gig. Yeah. And then suppies are the stadium gig. Yeah. This is saying? an open mic. The full sellout. Kevin Hart, piece of shit, fucking big. Exactly. The big arenas, comedy dude. extravaganza, basically. This is Godzilla versus Kong: The Final Empire, and Suppies are minus one. Exactly, it's just like that. <laughs> exactly that. So, if you want access to the bonus weekly episode, and then uh, the Discord, shout out to all the blood relatives in the Discord, and then what else? Pictures Fe- of our boners. Yeah, feet pics and yeah. pictures of our boners on feet. Mm-hmm. You, you can rate them too. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, have yeah. a rating yeah. system. We just upload other dicks. We Google. <laughs> it's just we just Google big dick and upload one once a week. This is me. It's black. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's that, it's weird. All the rest of me is it's white. It's crazy. Which podcaster has the Neapolitan dick? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's all on Patreon. So check that out and then um, give us your money, please. We love you. Yeah. I'll also kill myself if you don't. So there's that. There's that. Watch parties. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We do watch parties as well. We, we, we gotta do some more. Yeah, we, we do. We do. They are fun, though. We, they, They're a fucking blast. They are, yeah. We gotta do some more. Yeah. I really wish I was in town for WrestleMania and I would make us do a WrestleMania watch party. That would be so fucking fun. That would be a good time. I would host it if you were here, but yeah. if, without you, it doesn't feel right. True. You know? You well, you would be like the tour guide for everyone because no one. Yeah. yeah. I'm genuinely considering watching it still somehow, but it might take away from the whole vacation. Yeah. I mean, you're in New York, so. And my wife doesn't. Hey, watch out for uh, getting punched by random people. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Watch out for the tunnels. Wife's a cop, though. I think we're. Oh, the tunnels, I'm more concerned about. Yeah, but you can't have a gun in New York. (laughs) Tell that to her. (laughs) (laughs) Tell that to her on the airplane. (laughs) Tell that to her and her badge. You know what I'm saying? Amen, brother. That they take in New York. Yeah. (laughs) When you (laughs) land in New York, badge and gun. She's like, oh, you son of a bitch. (laughs) Oh, man. 
All right. So, yeah, five bucks a month on Patreon. That's that. Yeah, whatever. Fucking whatever, dude. Whatever, whatever dude. dude. Who we gives a shit? All right. We don't care Let's that jump much. into watch list real quick because we have a lot of the same watch list. All three of us do. Yeah. We do, yeah. Do we, you, should I kick it off? I haven't kicked this off. But, I mean, it's all the same shit. It's all the same. Let's start off with, with the same Z's, all right? Okay. Godzilla, Kong, The New Empire. The absolute three-head masterpiece we saw in a three-head theater with a three-head audience. This is the most applause breaks I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> ever. During a movie? D- during mm-hmm. anything. Yeah. This is how all studios want audiences to react. They, like, that's what they think. Holy fucking shit! Yeah. Every time something happens. Dude, there were so many gym shorts at this screening, dude. <laughs> yeah. Myself included, to be fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you went to the gym. Yeah. Yeah. I go to the gym often. It's about drive. It's about power. I'm an athlete. That's true. He's a he's a finspo. Technically, uh, um, work for a football team. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. So you could argue that you're a professional football player. <laughs> Get away! You're you in the NFL. That. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, cuts you just getting folded in half by a running back. <laughs> getting Vince McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Godzilla Kong, a new empire, the new empire. I don't fucking know something empire. Yeah. Empire Records, the final empire. This was a. I'm glad we did this because it was the funniest. First of all, the movie was one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. It was fucking hilarious. Where every single line of dialogue was a, a newspaper spinning into frame. Yeah. Like, I'll, be, I'll be fully candid with you guys. I didn't want to watch this movie at all. I kind of told you both because we, we got invited to the screening because we're press members, whatever. Yeah. But um, <laughs> we got no, invited. No deal. We're just a big deal in the we're industry. Just, we're and just I, Roger Ebert. I sent it to you guys, and I was like, do you guys want to go to this? As just sort of like getting through the fucking thing. Because we, we get a lot of movies sent our way, and not going to fucking go to them all. But this one, I was like, Ugh, I'll just, you know, do you guys want to go? And then both of you were like, fuck yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. The hell? What the hell are you talking about? Well, Alex sees Godzilla. Big I know, I know. Yeah. But he doesn't even go to fucking the right theater for Godzilla Minus One. You know what I'm saying? That was a new technology I didn't know Anyways. existed. Anyways. <laughs> Screen X. So I was like, he doesn't want to fucking see this. But I asked, and you guys were both stoked. I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to go to this. I wouldn't say stoked. I would say I saw a trailer where a You both ju- said yes with, like, emphatic yeses. I, well, I was... It, you, it's a big... It's Big Lizzie versus King Kong. And then they gave him a fucking power glove. Yeah. I'm like, this is so stupid. I'm seeing that. Yeah. That's... that. I, I wasn't like, fuck yeah, the new Godzilla Kong in the MonsterVerse. That's kind of how he said it. That's exactly how he said it. And then I am sent, a big MonsterVerse fan. And then you sent a gif of dancing minions, and you're like, dude, th- I'm so down. This is me yeah, on yeah. my way to Godzilla. Yeah. 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 Me, yeah. And then I wore my Godzilla onesie to the dude. screen. Dude. That's true. Yeah. With, with many of the others that did. Anyways, it was... Uh, I rated it two stars, but I had a fucking blast. Same, yeah. Yeah. It was it was the most three head thing I've ever experienced. I think yeah. Like and and it was also like the it audience. Was bad. It's a bad. It's movie, a right? bad movie. The audience could have, couldn't have been more of the audience you would expect. Like I p- picture the worst audience imaginable, and then multiply it because that's what we were experiencing this time. They it were like, literal babies. Literal babies. <laughs> w- which, by the way, you said it perfectly. I, I don't even remember. Huh? It, you said you're. <laughs> We, we were both like, is there a fucking baby up there? Like, <laughs> at, on like the fourth row in an IMAX screening of Godzilla oh, yeah. Kong. <laughs> so they took their two-year-old to see like monsters the size of buildings on a screen. Screaming into a camp. Ah! Yeah, with, with deafening audio probably to their yeah. baby ears. And of course the baby's crying. Yeah. And then and then to shut it up, they pull up Coco Melon on Netflix <laughs> on their on their phone. And then there's a bright phone on the fourth row just of a baby watching Coco Melon. And we're trying to I mean, oh, oh, I'm missing valid plot points here, but like <laughs> it wasn't like that, but it was, you know, that shit's still annoying. But yeah, it sucks. At that point you just lean into how stupid the whole screening is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. of course. And then I also kind of feel bad for Rebecca Hall because she's a great fucking actress. Like a fucking like Good fucking actress. A great actress. And she was great in Christine. She was mm-hmm. great in f- so many good, good movies that she's in. She's highbrow. She really is. But since Iron Man 3, she's just been thrust into this exposition-carrying character in every movie she's been in with the dumbest fucking haircuts imaginable, dude. Yeah, yeah. And all of their dialogue, like, they take the one of the best actors, actresses, 
and they just have him say, oh, it appears a black hole is forming. Uh, just shit to just tell you Dude, what's happening. My favorite thing was during this movie, since every single line of dialogue was exposition, every time someone spoke, we'd be like, Huh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We were all looking at each other, just going, "Oh, oh I see now." And, and then Brian Tyree Henry had a had a like a monologue of exposition where he's like, "Oh, it looks like whenever Mothra shoots his beam into the anti gravity, it forms a crystal." And it was like a two minutes of pure exposition, and I was just like, "Oh, <laughs> oh!" Combing the, the beard just longer. Yeah. By the end of the movie, you're flipping it. You over just like turn Kill Bill. You turn yeah. into the Grandmaster from Kill Bill. Exactly. Too. <laughs> yeah. Do one of those things. We, no, it was it was ridiculous. Our hairs are just getting wider because we're <laughs> we're getting so wise by this movie. Speaking of Bryant and Tyree Henry, he was uh, he did an interview after the movie uh, came out. Obviously, he's doing like his press release or you know press run for it. He compared this movie to a Kiss concert. How do you feel about that? I was like, actually, that makes fucking. They to- do total play a sense. Kiss song in the movie. They do play a Kiss song in the movie, but I was like, oh, that's fucking perfect. That's a perfect analogy because it's not a movie. No. It's yeah. not, you're not going to go watch a jam band. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a fucking big fuck you, <laughs> like firework. Yeah. yeah. You know, up your asshole. It's a show. Out through your mouth. Exactly. exactly. Well, well said. It's exactly <laughs> how I think Roger Ebert would have described it if he had a mouth. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, it's like a Kiss concert. I mean, they're good musicians, but you're not going there to see like, wow, this is artistry no. in music. You're going to see the show. It's yeah, fireworks. Yeah, it's entertainment, not musicianship. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a theater. It's a ride. So I, I love that analogy. And I was like, okay, yeah. I think that's why it was still enjoyable, even though I was like, this is a bad movie. Yeah. I loved looking at you during the Kiss needle drop, though. Oh. Yeah. You were like, oh, let's fucking go. You were like, all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. He's like, I'm in. I was you know. sort of like, fuck, they got me, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, because I was hate watching it this entire time. Yeah, and then they fucking pull out that fucking. Yeah. It was during the fisting scene too. You exactly. Know what I mean? Yeah. So he's, I was when just he's like, getting fisted to Love Gun. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> all right. I'm thinking I'm back. I'm dude. thinking I'm back. I'm thinking I'm back. Uh, dude, I still wish they. Uh, I don't. I, it's weird because I don't love the main antagonist of the movie, but I don't hate him either. I, I, it's kind of just whatever. It's just another big monkey man who like created like a monkey Auschwitz in Hollow Earth. <laughs> 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 and, and then, like I would, but then they briefly alluded to like like plant monsters. And my favorite all time kaiju is Biollante from the Heisei era. And I was like, oh, sick! They're gonna have a Godzilla and Kong versus Biollante. This is gonna be the most epic Godzilla, American Godzilla ever. And then, no, just Big Monkey. Just another Big Monkey. Yeah, it's fucking little... Diddy Kong. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was disappointed by the villain. Or no, no, Funky Kong. <laughs> Funky Kong. <laughs> That's what he looked like. <laughs> he dude. does, yeah. yeah. He looked like fucking Diddy, Diddy, yeah. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. And then Diddy Kong was his the little... Yeah. The, yeah. yeah the, honestly, I fucking loved the I, ba- I did, Baby I Kong. I did like that. He was more like... Yeah, I just loved yeah. that he was just like... <laughs> all the time yeah that's the extent of dialogue they should have had was baby kong you know what i mean yeah. i don't need any human story this could have been a silent movie yeah yeah <laughs> but, but speaking of the humans like or the humanization the reason these are so lowbrow like the american ones it's like they humanize all these monsters so much oh godzilla's or i'm sorry king kong is a full-fledged like american he's a basically. human being yeah, yeah. yeah that can speak asl sign language so it's <laughs> yeah. like so but also he he reacts like a human like even in the first few minutes he's like i got a toothache and he's like ow, ow. and and then it's like oh don't humanize him like that the, the reason old godzilla and king kong movies are so like scary and high art is their ominous mystery and like benevolence to humanity yeah they're just like i don't give a fuck i'm walking through a building to be fair though peter jackson's king kong wrote it's it's destroyed like the perfect line between them where like and it's still a great fucking it's, movie. it's such a good movie yeah. it's so minus underrated. kong if you will oh wow well said yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, to your point, like the Japanese interpretation of like the modern Godzilla, starting with like probably like Shin Godzilla, where it's like it's more of like an embodiment of like a force of nature than anything. It's mysterious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. and and then these... and it's all powerful, all knowing, all f- it's just like this mysterious being, like you're saying, and not like oh, that's a it's just a big guy. Right. Yeah. Because you see Kong like punch him and then look back at at Godzilla and go <laughs> like almost winking. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, what? Are, is, this isn't a buddy cop movie. What's happening here? They don't have they they have too much 
of that humanization of like uh they have too much avengers personality yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. where it's just like oh we're kicking ass and we're taking names and being funny while doing it and yeah it's like the next godzilla kong poster is going to be a back-to-back post you know what I mean? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those fucking but he's about to find out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this summer this godzilla summer. and kong yeah it's they're too they're yeah but they were funny it's about to be two men and a baby dude Literally. Yeah. Godzilla, Kong, and fucking Baby Kong. It's two and a half men, dude. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half yeah. kaiju. Um, I, you know, they brought up uh, the city of Hong Kong in the movie, and I was like, they're not going to say anything about how King Kong is going to Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about that, dude. That's yeah. hilarious. It's right there. It's, it's right fucking there. It's right there. there. Yeah, you got to do it. Also, uh, the, I did really... There's two things I loved about it was... Just the action in general. It is a CGI fest, but like the oh. fights themselves, like in Egypt, those went really hard. <laughs> it, it's the the Cairo fuck, Egypt. The <laughs> fucking supers for for where they are in the world was genuinely so fucking stupid. Hilarious. It would show three pyramids in like Egypt. I'm like, like, oh, it, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, that's where that is. Now I okay. Now I know where we are, and yeah. now I can follow the story. Yeah. I, I, I did not fucking need that. Rio de Janeiro, the fucking big Jesus guy. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, the popcorn human, like fifty percent of them, can probably recognize Egypt, and then the and then the rest of them would see a Jesus statue, and they're like. It's Louisiana. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, like, why does oh, it... Oh, I've been there. Yeah. Well, why does it matter? That's true, actually. That's what, like, uh, can't you just be like, oh, they're they're on Earth or they're in a foreign country. Who cares exactly where it is? They're you fucking know, it up. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't really matter, but you can tell yeah. there was, like, a producer behind the editor, like, cutting this film, and he's just like, dumber! <laughs> dumber! <laughs> dumber! <laughs> they must understand... Everybody must get it's this! It's Kylo Ren, but he's like, dumber! Yeah. Dumber! <laughs> Seriously. More! Yeah. But uh, one of the one of the other things I love about like this particular like monster verse interpretation of Godzilla is like the the fact that like a lot of the monsters the kaiju are just like doing their thing where they live and they're like like that uh that like dragon sea monster thing that was in like Antarctica or something yeah yeah it, it looked like a Chinese dragon or something like that I like the idea that Godzilla was charging up throughout the whole movie to yeah, get cool. to the final fight. And then he changed his color, which made sense. Uh, it does make sense. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the, so. <laughs> but then they explain it to you. Yes. They're like, oh, he's a different color now. Yeah. It's the nuclear energy. And everyone's like. Okay, man. Yeah, I fucking know. We, the even, last... the, even the baby's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the baby's like, come on. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Goes Spider back to Coco Melon. <laughs> Just like, oh, this, this is, I'm going to go back to my highbrow Coco Melon. Like. <laughs> Godzilla, long hill. <laughs> long hill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Although it's we like we said it perfectly after the movie it was like it. They made Godzilla Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, like it's just power ups and fights and stupid exposition I, and and monster of the week where they're just evil because they're evil. To be fair, I'm here for it. It's I'll, fun. I'll it never watch fun. it again. No. But. Yeah. I'll watch the next I, one. I do sincerely yeah. think that the previous Godzilla vs. Kong is at least a four out of five. I sincerely think that. Yes, yes. The first Godzilla Kong movie was great. Yeah. I own that. I love that movie. It Solid was, movie. And it's a perfect, like, uh, Magnolia Best Buy movie. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. Where it's, like, it's a dad kaiju movie. It's like you want to show this when you have a new setup. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, check this out, dude. dude. And yeah. that fight in Tokyo where all the dude, buildings are different colors. They, they bring in the, the pacing is perfect on that movie. Yeah. They bring in the right amount of kaiju. They brought in Mothra in this one as like a, oh shit, we forgot another kaiju. And Kinda, then yeah. and then Mothra is just there. It's, yeah. yeah. Literally sounds like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I love it. It but. sounded like a human doing that, yeah. which is probably just an it's, ode to the original. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I was like, "There's." I literally thought someone in the theater was making the noise <laughs> when, when it would yeah. come into frame and just go, yeah. I was like, who is doing this? Yeah. But nope, that was a movie. Just the movie. Yeah. They sort of did a, a nice allusion to the original Mothra where like, in the, in the beginning of that movie, there's just a giant fucking egg, like the size of an island. And then like that layer that's in the hollow earth sort of looks like that egg. So that was kind of cool, but other than that, it's like they're just doing their own thing now. Yeah, it's just action. It's just fine. Americanized fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, that was Godzilla Kong. Wait, I want to talk about two more things. They threw a fucking building, and then oh Kong, my god, and then Kong punched it. 
I actually appreciate that they didn't bother going, well, it's a good thing this whole town was evacuated. <laughs> yeah. They didn't even bother with like, that no, shit. No, they fucking died. No, they I would f- love to see people flying out of the buildings as they're throwing them. You know? yeah. oh, like, <laughs> uh, go, go the distance. I mean, obviously, if they could make it R, I would love to see that. Yeah, great. Yeah. Like, they throw... Give me. Yeah, but... <laughs> but I mean, they threw a whole building at at Kong, and then he punched the building. And I was just picturing like somebody doing spreadsheets in there, being like, "What the fuck?" And then getting picked up and thrown into a metal fist yeah. from a giant gorilla. Yeah, just the funniest that de- like the, oh, just on your way, not even scared. Like, oh, this is a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, this is yeah. a nightmare. Cut to Walter Cronkite, like the deadest office worker of all time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're calling him the most dead anyone's ever been. <laughs> Just, just here's a picture. It's just, oh, oh, it's just red. Just the color yeah. red. <laughs> just fucking red. It's just ground beef in a carton. Yeah. <laughs> here's what he looks like today. Yeah, it will be a closed casket funeral. <laughs> <laughs> closed fucking casket. We don't have anything to put in the casket. Yeah. yeah, but that and then when fucking like wait, there's nothing to put in the cat. Oh, we found him. Yeah, in. Trillions of pieces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just a mist. He's molecular. Now. Yeah, he's yeah. Like- <laughs> he's the true Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so there's that uh, that cracked me up. And then um, when uh, Godzilla and Kong first reunite, they have a little scuff, and they like they're going to team up later. But they're you know they're territorial animals, so they yeah. have a little scuff. And you want to see it anyway, of course. Yeah. So they have a little fight in. On the pyramids, which I was like, don't fuck up the pyramids, but <laughs> not but, the pyramids. Uh, yeah, but uh, kill human beings. That's fine. Yeah, but, but that's that, a wonder of the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude, what I if was, it revealed a fucking spaceship under it, dude? <laughs> <laughs> we ancient, never noticed. Yeah. <laughs> the ancient aliens guy watching Godzilla Kong, like I fucking told you guys. Dude, you guys made fun of me a lot, and that was a dick move. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that made me laugh because, I mean, once Godzilla... <laughs> it's I'm sorry, it's just a fucking Prometheus alien, like, just like... <laughs> just, <laughs> like just handsome Squidward, like... <laughs> it's like shuts, that de- shuts the hatch. Yeah, if it's like that Dexter's Lab episode and it's just a bunch of more monkeys under, like, <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, yeah, but it made me laugh so much because Godzilla has an atomic breath ray <laughs> and... God, Kong is just a big gorilla. That's it. That's he, can, it. he just punches hard. So when, when Godzilla charged up his death ray, like, goo, 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 boom, and then it just got to Kong, just jump. Yeah, oh, that was so funny. Dude, we were dying laughing. Like, he can't do anything but run from the death ray. Yeah. yeah. That is so, f- it cracked me In up. In the way he's like, it was Tom Cruise chopping. It was, like, a, it was a full action sequence. Like, dude, fuck, man. Just, <laughs> just had to run from just booking it dude yeah. just booking it <laughs> i feel like they they took a lot from god of war ragnarok with like a bearded kong with a little guy and an axe yeah it, it kind of felt like that he called point. him boy boy yeah they definitely were they they had that planet of the apes vibe on that well, that was godzilla kong yeah new cool. empire it was fun yeah go watch in the theater and then never watch it again you know yeah, and hopefully your theater was as stupid as ours. One guy was literally recording the movie. Oh the my spot. god! Yeah, I forgot about that. Right? I just I like I was I was just looking around, and then like I looked like in between the seats in front of me, and the guy was just like, <laughs> and then I guess someone told on him because then one of the employees walked up and just stood next to him for like twenty minutes, and he was yeah. like, "Well, now you can't watch it on SlotNights.net anymore." That's bullshit. That was the Slot Nights guy. It's Rodney that was, sh- that was Casino. Him. Yeah, he, that's the, he's the guy. He's the guy. You could have met the guy that does it. You could have met your homie. I should have walked up and been like, hey, big fan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love big, Ron, Ron G. Yeah. Casino Nights. Big fan of your work. Big fan of your work, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a true right. photography director. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if you're going to see Godzilla Kong, I hope the audience is yelling, let's fucking go. When, when, that's true. Like our yeah. audience was when yeah. like the big ape punched yeah. somebody. You hear somebody in the back like, let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the very intro, it's got. Uh, Twist this dick, like yeah. This, you just have th- those kind of Dude, people. The intro has a uh, Godzilla taking like a monster and like atomic breathing down its throat until it explodes in guts and slime and shit. And then you were just like, "There are babies in this theater." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like, dude, that, that's insane. It's the first two minutes. Of yeah, that happened. Yeah, that was cool. That was a fun movie though. All right, all right, we got to move on. Uh, Ex Machina. Yeah. We went to the uh, A24 IMAX collab oh. screening of Ex Machina, which included a sneak peek of uh, Civil War. Did you stick around for that? Yeah, we did. Nice. Well, it w- 
it was going to be bad because the very start of Ex Machina, the fucking projector was malfunctioning. And every hilarious, by the way, we saw every twenty frames, maybe. Yeah, once every three seconds, it would go boop, boop, and then it was black, which is hilarious. During the IMAX intro, things like stunning visuals, and it would be like ten, <laughs> six, <laughs> oh. yeah, oh. Ten. Oh. Oh. the best movie experience ever. Yeah. And you'd see one frame, and then it would disappear. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking awkward. And then they, you know, a, f- a full three, four minutes of the movie begins, and it's all fucked up. And then finally, the guy comes in and is like, "Sorry, we're <laughs> trying to shut it down. We'll restart and we'll try it again." Uh, and then they finally get it working after a few minutes, but then like they just kept playing and they didn't restart the goddamn movie. What a dick move! Yeah. I agree. I was like, "Come on, man! You restart the fucking movie." Yeah, we we missed four minutes, maybe. Yeah, which is a, a great. You said one of your favorite parts. Yes, I loved. I I like uh, montages, and that was just a perfect way to intro the movie. Like, <clears throat> get to yeah. where you're going. No fuss. No, you know what I mean. That whole thing. And Alex Garlic always does these cool montages without sound effects. Yeah, true. Or, or dialogue. It's yeah. always just music and yeah, and yeah. so vibey. Yeah. So and he said he was going to restart it, but then once it got working, I think they were just like, "Don't fucking touch it," because yeah, it's working yeah. now. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Probably. So we he was already at the house by the time it was working. Damn. I know. Yeah. We didn't get to see him fly in and to get all and like, go, boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, We've been flying over his state for 30 miles for three hours. Yeah. Wow. He owns an island. Wow. He's good. He must be. Wow. People that own islands are always really cool. They're always good guys. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, shouts to. We'll cut a clip here. The four cheese pizza. But uh, what did you think of Ex Machina in IMAX? A movie you famously hate. Yeah. Uh, well, I thought it was funny at the very beginning they did all the IMAX trailers and then it has an art card that's like a disclaimer from IMAX like, look, this actually isn't an IMAX movie. Yeah. It was They weird. like modified the format. Yeah, they were, they were they were almost like, this isn't the true IMAX experience and I was like, well, okay, you didn't need to say that though and now I'm just like, then the whole time I was watching it, oh, so they just made it bigger on this screen, I guess? They just took the scale and went 200%? Like, what did they do? The Screen X experience, no, if you they, will. Yeah. They just projected it with IMAX technology. It wasn't made for IMAX, is what they were right. saying. Right, like it wasn't shot with IMAX cameras no, or 70mm yeah. or exactly, anything. Exactly, yeah. But, I I mean, I, seeing it... I appreciated the, the little note, but I understood that it's like, oh yeah, well, I mean, obviously they're not going to reformat it for IMAX. No, they're not going to do the cr- James Cameron treatment on it. No, fuck it. Which is where they make it entirely better, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course, of course. <laughs> he lets AIs and computers just dude, run and Make it better. Thing. Where he makes them look like a smooth Play-Doh man. Yeah. Dude. So, uh, I mean... Is it's one of my favorite movies. It's in my top four on Letterbox, and it's it just stands as one of the most concise, rewatchable, wholesome sci-fi. Wholesome, wholesome in the sense that it is whole. Like whole, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not like oh, the sum it? is whole. Right? Oh right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a complete experience. Yeah. No, but I I actually hundred percent. No, I, I I agree with that. Like never ever make a prequel or sequel type no. of shit. Type Dude, of thing. It's perfect as it is. You know what's so funny though is when we were watching the movie, I was like, I bet in twenty years it's gonna be a Blade Runner twenty forty nine situation. They're gonna make a sequel to this movie. Probably. Really? I bet they will. I bet they fucking will. I don't want them to, but it's I gonna, get, dude. Yeah. I think you're th- right. That's how that's how reboots and sequels work. It's like with enough. I, I think this movie has enough cred to where in 20 years, maybe 15, they're going to be like, let's bring that shit back. You yeah. know, let's it's, run it back. Yeah. Alex Garlic won't be involved. He'll just executive produce it or something. Yeah. And then some new hot director, the yeah. next Denny V, yeah. will fucking will adapt it and make a <clears throat> really cool movie out of it. I think. I think it has that potential. Or it could be a piece of fucking honking big piece of shit. Um, but who knows? It's just Don Draper and a movie executive just like, Run it back. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the on the board. She says, run it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ex Machina, the, the poster and then a question mark. Yeah. Do it again. Ex Machina. Run it back. But yeah, it's like the, their whole marketing, that whole thing is just remember this. Yeah. Now this again. Yeah. Now Dude, here it is again. Speaking yeah. of marketing, you know, uh, you remember what they did at South By for uh, Ex Machina, right? No. What? Dude. They made everyone a robot. <laughs> they did. No, uh, so Alicia Vikander... Well, they, they used Alicia Vikander's likeness to create um, dating profiles on Tinder and... I did see this. Yeah, yeah. on Tinder to uh, to do a version of Ava 
that people were talking to and matching with and she matched with everybody and then was kind of slowly having AI conversations with them, acting interested so people would match with her and then at the very end of the campaign they'd be like, Ex Machina in theaters now. Like the, just <laughs> just getting fucking catfished by an That's AI. That's crazy. She's like, wow, you like cuties on Netflix. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, people were fucking falling for that That's shit. That's crazy. That's wild. Yeah. Oh, imagine this a bunch of catfish people show up to an ex machina screen and think they're gonna be dating Alicia Vikander. Dude. <laughs> dude, that happened, I think. I th- I think they sent people to the theater. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> to meet her. To meet her <laughs> or like watch a movie with this, this girl that they just met. And it turned out to be Ava from fucking. Wow, that's. I so say this awesome. with no malice. I hope they killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's also with, kind of with no malice. Yeah, with no, respectfully, respectfully kill, kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> with no hate in my heart, I hope you fucking killed yourself. I hope you hung yourself from your ceiling fan and it broke, and then you shot yourself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> but that is kind of a mess. The message of the movie it keeps that whole yes. thing in, in like that guy gets catfish sort of and dude and Phil. Pol- Film publicity, that is a perfect movie to sort of like, especially if the filmmakers are into it and they like the idea. Like, that is a perfect movie to to kind of create a campaign based off of. It's, yeah, yeah man. But it was they, they, really, they really did it right with that one. A24, dude. Yeah, they hit it. I love viral marketing campaigns like that. That was at their, their highest high. Mm-hmm. Because now they have to make things that are a little commercial and have like different stars that appeal to everybody. And it's like it's definitely a lot more commercial and money facing now. Ex Machina was the antith- antithesis of that. You know what I mean? Agreed. They're they're was, colossal now. Yeah, yeah. It was just a fucking great movie. Agreed. Perfect movie, if you will. Perfect sci-fi Agreed. movie. The best. The best version of I think AI or even just human consciousness. A movie about the two. Like there's so, been so many AI movies. Uh, Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I Robot. Sorry, yeah. Will Smith. Yeah, it's not. It's the best version or of that. Steven, or Steven... <laughs> go on. Steven Spielberg's artificial intelligence. That's I mean, true, yeah. Oh, my God. That's a dude, perfect movie. I mean, Kubrick had a hand in that, too. Yeah, so it has to be perfect. A good movie. <laughs> I'm just rolling Ro- my eyes. Rotating your head off your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Unscrewing my own head. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, this it was a great... In theaters, it was great to see it in theaters. And I still, like, pick up on shit knowing the ending and going through and watching Os- Oscar it's Isaac. It's such a cool awesome movie now. to rewatch. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Oscar Isaac is just perfect in that movie. It's one of my favorite roles for him. from him. And, and I think even more this time I picked up on how much smarter he is than... How with the Donald entire Gleason. time... The entire time he's just like, yeah, bud. You know, like... Yeah. Because he's like trying to feed him like, oh, yeah, I know so much about this. I know all these quotes. And he's like, okay. yeah, I fucking know what it is, man. Yeah. Like he's, he's pretending not to know he's quoting something else. Like, yes. I love what you said. You're so quotable. He's trying... He's like broing himself down. Yeah. And then... And then, and then at, by the end, he's drunk. And he drops the whole charade. He's like, "Yeah, it's when Oppenheimer started the bomb." I'm not fucking know who it is, dude. I'm not a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm not like you. I'm better than you. I made this, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. But even like the guys, like, look, I thought it was linear, leading to stochastic and getting linear art word sentences. But now I see the code is this, and he's just like, "Dude, shut the fuck up." Yeah, he's like, "Was it cool?" And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "All right, dude." Like he wants it to be that just because there's nothing. It's like you're not guy. gonna fucking meet yeah. me here. You are the consumer. You're yeah. the smartest version of the consumer. Right. Yeah, dude. That's a fucking like. Great I got movie. you here based on your pro- <clears throat> porn profile. You fucking idiot. Dude. Yeah. Like, and but you it, don't fucking. You're not up here, dude. Yeah. And you're not that guy, pal. <laughs> he said that. He was like, "Hey, you're not that guy." I want to shake his hand. Yeah. I'm standing on my business, and you're not that guy, pal. <laughs> <laughs> but he, even even the uh, that. What he was, the manipulation throughout the whole movie was also representative of his hubris, which was his downfall at the end. Like, yeah. He literally didn't even think the robots could hurt him. Yeah. He, yeah. He would just be like, all right, get back in your cell, you know, come back in your room. And then I'm going to go back to my spot. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know I'm a robot in the corner of the room. Um, but in that was his downfall. He's just like fucking unreal. He literally can't believe it happened. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't think that was could be part of her code because wow. he's thinking about the next <laughs> version that, he's like th- surely this isn't it this is not the best version that this can be because i mean he wrote her entire yeah. mind yeah so he's like nothing can surprise me because i right. wrote what, i wrote what she's doing yeah which is also a funny i mean we're getting it into the weeds we've done an episode on this already but uh, like the the fact that he writes all the routines and so in a way i related to oscar isaac where he's just like the other guy's like, this is wrong. This is morally wrong. And he sees it as lines of code being right. ex- executed. So he's like, dude, it's not a fucking person. Yeah. He doesn't care. And then it makes you go, 
well, what is consciousness? If it, and then you're like, am I just executing lines of code that were programmed by my upbringing? All that shit. That's reference in the movie, but yeah, that's it's a thinker, guys. It's a, it's a highbrow film. <laughs> it's a real thinker, dude. I cannot I like smart movies like The Fountain <laughs> <laughs> and Ex Machina with the tree come. Yeah, um, I, dude, I can't wait for. As soon as you said Oscar Isaac, I was immediately like, I cannot wait for Metal Gear Solid with Oscar Isaac. Oh yeah, that is gonna fuck. Dude. We shall see. But that was a good time. Next Does he have a thick ass? You can only hope. Canonically, he should. Okay. I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. You should have an absolute dumper. <laughs> it's it's canon. Yeah. Uh, Another just five out of five. Perfect movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, And then f- finally, an- another one that we shared was uh, Immaculate. Is this the Sydney Sweeney one? Sydney Sweeney. You didn't see it? No. Nope. None horror. You saw it? I saw it yesterday what do you think i fucking loved it dude it's good right i fucking really loved it some of the the be- one of the best endings of horror i've seen in a long time yes this is the best horror movie i've seen since barbarian wow i liked it i liked it better than talk to me Ooh. wow yeah easily All right. easily better than talk to me this is up your lane though yeah horror religious religious horror religious horror that's, yeah that's true yeah that's my fucking shit man and aliens what the hell is that this one uh, spoke to me in uh, in many ways. It was fucking just so good. Sydney Sweeney is great in it too. Good fucking actress. Who's that? Oh, the, the main girl in the, in the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You never heard of Sydney Sweeney? She was good. Yeah, she's good. Yeah, yeah she like an up and comer. Yeah, she's, she's just, like a new actress. What's some going lady. On? She's done some stuff. Like voyeurs. I think I've seen time her. code forty four thirteen. Mister Skins. <laughs> I've seen her a couple times. She's, couple times. She's fine. She's good. good. You know, yeah, she's great. Great young actress, you know. Yeah, up and coming star, if new you, scream queen, if you will. You could argue. I never heard of her in my life. No, nope. I like my girlfriend's feet, and that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> she carried, huh? Fucking shit, man. Yeah, she's really good in this. She's so fucking good in this. I like her career trajectory. Mm-hmm. She's just fucking going for it. Yeah. You know, she's like the the campaign she's been doing for this movie. She keeps showing it to like different types of people. Like she watched the movie with nuns, like actual nuns. <laughs> yeah, that's why. And there's a there's a social media video of it and they like love it. They're like, oh, my God, like they're freaking out. And she's sitting with them watching it. She's like, sorry, am I kicked out of the church now? <laughs> like, that's it's, cute. But it, it is adorable. It's so fucking awesome. That's that's cool, but God, that's surprising considering the context. I know, like of what they're watching. But but if you think about it, if if you're dedicating your life to this thing, it's like, of course, there's going to be someone making fun of it. Yeah, there's someone going to be you know writing fiction, you know, fiction based on it. You know, yeah, they're good sports about it, which is yeah, great. they're they're great sports about <laughs> that's it. One thing you can say about the Catholic Church, they are good sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, the, the did you see that other way they were marketing it with the posters? Uh. Wait, which poster? I actually haven't seen much about it. It's all I know is with her name is a nun. Uh, I don't know if it's her. No, it's not her name. It's they they take a poster and they they go on Twitter and they find bad reviews Uh from most mostly like radical Catholic people or Christian people, and they're like, "This is the most godless abomination I've ever seen." I was disgusted. I was appalled. Fuck yeah! And it's just a picture of her face like screaming, and it's like immaculate in the date at the bottom, and the whole the word takes up the whole poster. That's fucking sick. And they did like five or six of those of different like. People being like, "This is godless and uh, you know, uh, anti-religious and uh, pro-life," and they're freaking out about all this shit. And I see no cons. <laughs> it's awesome. It's she's great doing marketing. awesome, and you know, she's she's a producer on it too. Shout out! She to got that. that movie made basically. Like she auditioned for it, I think, before uh, Euphoria. She didn't get the shit. part. She did not get the part, and it just ended up in development hell. They couldn't make the movie. And then after, I mean, she got her fucking big break, basically. She's like, I want to go back and produce that movie that I auditioned yeah. for. And guess what? I'm fucking starring in it now. And they're like, yep, whatever you fucking say, Yeah, dude. now she's got the keys to the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, dude, cinematography, fucking 10 out of 10. It is beautifully shot. It's really good. I don't know how much it costs, but it co- it looks like it costs a shit ton of money. All right, yeah. Like, they did a great job regardless of the budget mm-hmm. it looks fucking sick shout out to that movie great i'll also check it out yeah i really 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 enjoyed it what did you give it chris three out of five i think really yeah damn it okay. was very solid but i don't think i would own it or rewatch it but i, I love it for me it's just that that it's it is movie. that ending man the ending is woo. 
brilliant. It really is. Yep. I love the poster. The poster that they're doing. It's uh, well, it has the title treatment, of course, immaculate. But it has a uh, Sydney Sweeney's name, but it's in an inverted cross. So like Sydney Sweeney. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, just fucking let's go, dude. <laughs> Any anti-religion, godless, yeah. satanic. It goes thing. hard. You show me an inverted cross. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm there, dude. Yeah. Dwayne comes into the third act. Not that I believe in that. <laughs> Not that I believe in it, but it's fucking cool, you know? Yeah. It's yeah, cool, cool it, shit. It's cool imagery. Yes. My favorite totally. band is Slayer. You know what I'm saying? One sure. of my favorite bands. Yeah. Whatever. One of my favorite bands. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right behind Hard Rock Kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Immaculate. Fucking great. I gave it a four out of five. I fucking really liked it a lot. It sounds good. Yeah. I would check it out. I mean, for you, it would be like when it's out on sure. streaming yeah. for sure. Or, you know, slotnights.net. Slotlights for sure. Or fucking yeah. whatever fucking Fisher Price thing you watch it on. I, I, saw w- it I watch it on a Leap Pad. <laughs> <laughs> watch it on an iPad With that the, has Is one. that the frog yeah. fucking yeah. laptop? <laughs> 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 the little guy on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. In a screening of Godzilla Kong watching Immaculate on a Leap Frog Pad. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it in a completely empty theater. Nice. Yeah, it was that's perfect. Fucking sick. Yeah, it was perfect. That's awesome. I love a Friday morning screening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking a, dude. You can't do any. It don't get no better than this. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I said. You said that in the theater. To <laughs> yourself. Yeah. yeah. It don't get no better than this. <laughs> the projector's up there. It's like the fuck. The hell <laughs> is that guy talking to himself? <laughs> Mid bong <right>? during the, <laughs> nun- <laughs> the fuck <laughs> during the nun horror movie. All right. Uh, that that was it for me. Nice. Gotta move it along here. Nice. Um, I'll go next. Um, I watched Bottoms. Ooh, Ooh, that's a fun movie. Yeah. You son of a bitch, dude. We told you to watch this like a year ago. Like I know. fucking 10 years ago, dude. I know, and I forgot about it, and then it showed up on Max, so I, I gave it a watch. Hell yeah. What do we think? Um, is very, very funny. Yeah. I was not in the mood for a funny movie, and it still got me sometimes, which yeah. is a good sign. It wasn't like amazing, but, nah. it, but it made me laugh. Solid three out of it's five. It's a perfect dumb comedy. Yeah, it yeah. was like not another teen movie, but done in a better way. Yeah, yeah. Where because like the football players all wear their uniforms, that yeah, uniforms, yeah, yeah. they're everywhere, yeah. fully decked out in pads the whole movie. The even way if they're just in a restaurant. Yeah, yes, I exactly. love that. That's it's, my favorite part of that's it. That's so funny. The way you describe it was, I think it was like Mean Girls meets Fight Club or something. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly that's the perfect description of it. But the, what made me laugh the most was that fucking girl that that just insane. Like one of just the members of the club, like I mean, Rachel Sanat was great, very funny. They were all very funny, but she got me the most. Was just like, um, they would be just doing like a wrestling move, and she would just be like, "Yeah, yes, 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 slay!" <laughs> yeah. Screaming, and then it just cut away. Like she's mid yell, she's like, "Yeah," and then it just cut away. <laughs> Dude, that type of humor kills me every time. It's like, always yelling and then f- smash cuts. Smash cuts. Dude, that's Alpha like... Alpha yelling, dude. The moment I knew I loved Smiling Friends was like in the middle of the first episode, there's like a 10 second shot of just the exterior of a house with a bird in a tree and the bird's just chilling and then it goes, ah! and then it cuts away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that show, that show was hilarious. Dude. Yeah. Exactly, shit like that. So it was right down, right down the Marshawn right Lynch, dude. She, yeah, he was so funny. He's, he's a too. natural for sure. Yeah, dude, he's yeah. so charismatic and funny and good. Yeah, and the shit he would write on the board, he's like, "Feminism bad?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like, just so just funny. dumb shit. Just, just the perfect coach teacher. Yeah, and out. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, I guess. Oh, I rewatched Infinity Pool. Ooh, Ooh. the Let's Come go. Rock movie. Yes, and this is the first time. I've seen it uncut, by the way. So the okay. the the, yeah. phys- the physical media version, it's uh, obnoxiously says uncut all over it. But um, it is possessor does that too. I know, mm. but it is um, Brandon Cronenberg. Brandon Cronenberg, my doppelganger. We'll put yeah. in a photo here. No, that Rasta bassist is your doppelganger. <laughs> that guy seriously <laughs> is. And I'll cut you a have a lot here. of doppelgangers, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm, I'm not special at all, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fucking, what's his name from the Goonies? From the Goonies. Truffle Shuffle? Chunk? No. <laughs> the fucking Ur uh, guy. <laughs> the Frankenstein guy? The, yeah, no, the, 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 hey, you guys, that guy. <laughs> yeah, you totally. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Ruth. Yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> I'll cut it in here. <laughs> Baby Ruth. 
I'm, I'm gonna be mad when I you're gonna be it. really mad. <laughs> it's just some. It's like fucking squints from fucking Sandlot. Is yeah, you, yeah. you look like Data from the Goonies. You look like <laughs> the- <laughs> Kwan. <laughs> you look like the little kid from Gummo. You know what I mean? I also, haven't seen that. You never. I heard it's one of the most fucked up movies though. You look the little kid from Gummo. I. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. I've seen that poster. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but yeah. I don't. Yeah, Chris is like, I, I'm, we're, I'm done here. I hate. No, this bit. I can see it. I can see it. Thanks for committing to the bit. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, Infinity Pool. So the uncut version, um, the cum rock scene. You get to see him like a full dick get jerked off, which really? is really super neat. Dude, where? Time code twenty three ten. No. Um, pull it. it. Chris will put it in here. Yeah. <laughs> a coming <laughs> dick <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Oh! Market is for kids. <laughs> That's an inside joke for people that upload stuff to YouTube. You, gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you have to you for have to, kids. You, you, a part of the tagging section. Yeah. It's either yes, is it for kids, or no, is, is it not for kids? And yeah. come, <laughs> just take the option off. Who the fuck cares yeah. about kids? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. There's that, but there's a lot of most of the uncut stuff shows up in those really surreal scenes where it's just a lot of like mm. the orgy scenes. Basically, the yeah. orgy the orgy scene was much more yeah. insane. Like a penis comes out of a vagina, like out. No, like the, it, no, it, right? It's like, like it's it, hanging out. No, we it go. It's like it's just a like a fucking like a kaleidoscope of flesh, and there's more shots of it. And there's this one direct shot of this girl like spread eagle, and a dick just goes whoop like Geiger, so Geiger esque, just this weird ass shit like that. And you're just like, but it's like quick shots, Crazy. and that that obviously was cut out of the you know, that's the, the answer answer answer. shit, man. He's, huh? he's so good at that. The the uncut version was nuts, but still a great movie. Solid four out of five. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're giving me the light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of I'm out of. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for me though. All right, Infinity Pool's good. I um, see Scar's guard acting all weird and Yard's yelling. Yard. Jamesy um, little baby. Jamesy, you little baby. Yeah! Where you going, you little baby? Where you going, you cocked piece of shit? I fucking love her so <laughs> much. Little in baby! Movie. You, you fucking shitty book. Shitty And he's just boy. like hiding behind the little the bus seat. Just like. <laughs> I love it. Dude, that part actually is scary because it it's is. broad daylight. On public transport. Yeah. That's insane. Just chilling on Epstein's Island with, yeah. and cloning themselves anytime they do something wrong. Nuts. Um, I have pretty much nothing but rewatches. It's been a crazy week. Um, <coughs> Battle Royale from Ooh. Japan. Um, this, from where? From Japan. Uh, uh, this was... Hold on. Thank you. This was, uh, I, I used to go to conventions and stuff because my dad would take photos at them and shit like that. And we got like a bootleg of this one time when it was still like a banned movie in America. Looking back on it now, like after this rewatch, after like 20 years, I don't know why the fuck it was banned. There's way worse shit out there. Yeah. There's way worse shit on the news every day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Just turn on CNN. Man. Yeah. Uh, I think it's because there's like teenagers. Yeah. It, there's like, they are kids all killing each other. I guess that's yeah. it. Yeah. But um, it's a fun movie. It's so over the top and ridiculous, dude. Yeah. It's like, like the, so the guy that's putting on the whole battle royale is a teacher that like a, a kid like like slashed his leg with a knife and then he comes back two years later and he's like you're all gonna fucking kill each other now it's it's him just like how about fuck you all then hmm? how about fuck every one of you because of that kid <laughs> and uh it's so over the top and crazy and it's it's a fun time check it out they just re-released a dvd for it um dvd a dvd mm. not on blu-ray DVD. for some reason uh i don't think it- i have a blu-ray of it oh really I found a steel book. Oh shit! All right, yeah. Is it, have you seen maybe it? it's maybe it's region B. No, I haven't. It's probably yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's one of those I found. I was like, oh, I need this, and yeah, then I. I mean, watch it for sure. It sits it's on my shelf. Fun. Um, yeah, they just did like a re-release, so I grabbed it at like movie trading company or something. So Fuck uh, yeah, dude. Just a fun little thing. One of Quentin Tarantino's greatest films of all time. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's actually one of the blurbs on the front is a. Uh, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. You could argue it as a prequel to Fortnite. You could argue. It's a battle royale. Ah, yes. Or inspired one of the best genres of gaming. Prequel to The Hunger Games. No, more Fortnite. (laughs) No, I'd say Fortnite for sure. (laughs) I'd say it's definitely a Fortnite. It's definitely Fortnite. They're like building stuff and shit. Uh, Let's see. uh, Peter Griffin is in it. Peter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And uh, Thor and Spider Man. Yeah, and you can hit the gritty in Battle Royale. So. <laughs> they hit the gritty in Mid I didn't know Royale. that's where that was from. And then Is I saw, Fortnite like, just like the Ready Player One game? Basically. It's like every everything. everything every cultural somewhere. thing that happens gets I, played. I've never game. played it like Awful. on principle because it just looks like not my thing. It's just the most American shit I can imagine. Yeah. 
Um, rewatched Silence of the Lambs, a perfect five out of five movie. Let's fucking go, dude. Wearing the shirt and everything, dude. That's right. It don't get no better <laughs> than this. No better than this, guys. I gotta tell you. Uh, yeah, no, it really doesn't. Um, five out of five. A five out of five. Perfect movie. Front to back, back front. No, let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Say it? <laughs> you say it again. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's fucking go, baby. Uh, yeah, dude. It's. I don't think there's anything I really need to say about it. It's figure it out for yourself. What you needs to be said? Dipshit. Besides, <laughs> run it back. In fact, you're right. Uh, yeah, just watch it. Watch Sounds of the Lambs if you haven't heard of that shit. You fucking dipshit. Um, and then, lastly, another rewatch. Oh, God. It's a physical media minute. This is my bootleg copy of Serial Experiments Lane. This had to be bought bootleg because the Blu-ray has been out of stock for over two years now. Um, I'm sure it's a demand issue. It's a great show. It predated The Matrix and has a lot of the same vibes. Um, I describe this as Charlie Kaufman meets The Matrix because that's it's insane it's pretty slow but it's also only like 12 or 13 episodes so it's you're in and out um it's about a girl who discovers the internet and then she basically lets it take over her whole life she goes on e-fucked she she goes on e-fuck king shit (laughs) king shit um and it ruins her life it really does like it did mine unsupervised internet access that's right nick berg (laughs) check it out (laughs) um yeah just it's a masterpiece it's an old school you gotta watch it if you like that stuff. Check it out. It's good. Hell yeah. Fun brother. stuff. And that's all I got pretty much. Rewatched uh, Waterboy and uh, Blended. Two- I also rewatched Water- Waterboy. Let's like, fucking go. The other week. It's great. It's awesome. All right. Uh, is it time for Chris's birthday surprise? Chris's birthday boy surprise. Christopher, Charles, Chucky, Topher, Collins. Here's your first oh, gift. Oh shit. I didn't wrap it for the sake of the podcast. That's very thoughtful. Just moving it yeah. along. Yeah, that's thoughtful yeah. of you. Fucker! We say it all <laughs> the time, <Immediately>, man. <laughs> Fucking bitch! Fucker! Just back. Because just... this take any longer is what we always say when we have to unwrap a fucking gift. That's true, though. Wait, 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 wait. You're opening it the wrong fucking way. No. Yeah, God damn it. Yeah, there you go. What do you mean? It's the top. This is the top, right? Yeah, but like, don't do it like that. <clears throat> oh, God. If now only you this ruined your paper box. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's stuck in there, dude. It's, all it's, right, let me see. Let me see. No, no, Chris. Come here. Let me see. Yeah, please open my present. You dipshit. You just do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's apparent. That's apparent. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Thank you, though. You just do that. <laughs> Thank you, though. You just do that. <laughs> All right. Oh, I, oh, you guys are so thoughtful. Oh, dude. my God. But I already got him that. What? No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. The DVD only version. Oh, DVD only. DVD yeah. only. Of Marvel Studios' Ant Man and the Wasp. There we go, dude. A certified banger. It's in my top four on Letterboxd. Top four, exactly. Number one, actually. Yeah, but uh, right next to Ant Man, Quantumania. Quantumania. I love when guys get small. <laughs> I love the small guys. Also, favorite the, genre. Also, yeah. the movie Shrinking, starring Matt Damon. <laughs> in da- <laughs> shrinking. Yeah. And downsizing. Yeah. yeah and or honey, downsizing, I, whatever. Honey, I Shrunk the Superhero, if you will. Wow. I, what a great film this is. Yes. Yeah, of course. Four, three. DVD only. Yeah. DVD only. It, it, that's the quintessential way to view this film, much like The Descent and, right. and right. Jurassic Park. Right. You want to watch it on a CRT on a DVD. I also like the movie Trading Company cellophane that it's wrapped in, where it's not the original cellophane. Yeah, it's, right. it's also half ripped with the price off. And the top, make sure to tell you it is DVD only, though, which is part of the experience. That's true, yeah. Crucial. Is that widescreen or full screen? What the fuck was that? What's my fucking phone? It's money calling. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, they're, they're not there. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Foot. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. You're welcome, bud. Yeah. That's awesome. And I'll just put this right here. And there's another one in there. Oh, let's go. 30 Ooh. Days of Night. A certified banger. It is. Hardly know her. And what's the best line from that movie? No, God. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. I don't even have to cut in the clip. Yeah. No God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut in the clip, but it's with that audio. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so nice. it's gonna no be him God. going, No God. No God. 30 Days a Night, certified Alaskan vampire banger. Dude, more like 30 Days of Fright. I'd be so spooked if I was there. <laughs> I'd, I'd be scared. That would be very scary. Thank you guys. 
Or you, whatever. This is me. Thank you're you. welcome. You didn't do shit. You, Thanks, no, fellas. you're welcome. Thanks, fellas. Yeah. Check out 30 Days a Night. It's the best, like, idea for a vampire movie ever. It's badass. Yeah, it's where would vampires go? Oh, where there's no sun for 30 days. Yeah. And wreak havoc. And it's real chilly. Yeah. But it's really cold. The it vampires really are like, Ooh. Burr. Burr. All right, are you ready? Yes. What? There you go. For the visual listeners, it's, it's a bag that says Federal Bureau of Investigation X-Files Chain of Custody Molder. This yeah. is fucking sick. That's just a bag, though. I'm going to need that bag. Okay. <laughs> it's, re- okay. it's recyclable. <laughs> it's actually a Whole Foods bag. I just wrote it with Sharpie out there. <laughs> and it's got a tag that says, I want to believe... If this was all it was, I would be stoked. But it's cold and damp on the inside, and that kind of concerns me. Is there a body in here? Is there a body part? Is it a, no, cold, is it a cold, frosty beer? King shit. King shit. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it appears to be a Ziploc bag full of cum. And, uh, <laughs> nope, that's it. What else is in there? And then, oh, I'm sorry. How could I have missed it? <laughs> it is... <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is... I can't even see it. Lick it off, dude. I'm not licking it off. Just look dude. at the side. It's labeled on the side. Oh, yeah. The spine. Corn. There. Follow the leader. You just got creamed corn. <laughs> Certified creamed corn moment. Dude, you got creamed corn so bad just now. Uh, I got you so good. That is so disgusting. <laughs> this is going to be a thing now on TikTok. People are going to be cream corning people. Dude, I can only hope. I can only hope. And you have to say, <laughs> that's what dude if it made that noise when it opened the bag holy fucking dude, shit you just got creamed corn you just got creamed corn so bad dude here's your actual gift uh, really this is all I need <laughs> but this is all I need this is actually so cool it's, and it's a legit freezer bag okay it's- get over it dude <laughs> all right. Jesus alright I don't want to even put that I'll put it over here <laughs> Jesus dude it's just your bag of cream and corn <laughs> fill the fuck out this is the most disgusting shit We've ever had on our set. Probably. I bought a bag of sour cream right before the episode, and I just squirted it into the bag. <laughs> That's sour cream. Yeah. Oh god! I thought it was. I thought it was like uh, sugar icing or something. Nope, that's cream, dude. <laughs> Nah, dude, that's fucking. Nah, dude, that's, cream. that's fucking cream, dude. Ah, uh, all right. Here's my other present. Lovely wrapping, by the way. Oh, eat shit. All right, give me that back then. Fuck you. 2001 Space Odyssey with a crazy reflective cover. Wow. Ooh. Have you heard of the Folio Society? No. This is, to me, the Criterion Collection for books. So they do the best releases for all types of books. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's like a... A yeah. Criterion Collection for books. Yes, essentially. That's awesome. And I don't have this version, and I do have the novel already, but I, this is amazing, and I love Yeesh. it. Thank you, dude. No this problem. Is, this is fucking awesome. That's a great cover, too. Where's my gift? I give the best gifts is not a big deal. Just letting everyone know I give the best gifts. No, but you're supposed to give me a gift, even though it's his birthday. um, Wow, dude. You got almost half of that in there. I got a gift for you. Cream. Dude, you just got cream corn. You just got cream corn. (laughs) Regift cream corn. (laughs) Regifted so I didn't have time to wrap it. All right. That's awesome. Thanks, fellas. Yeah. Thank you, fellas. I need that backpack. I'm, just I'm gonna need that cream corn back though. I'm gonna cream corn my girlfriend. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we'll leave that right up here. Fuck. You just got cream corn. I've been so excited to do that. <laughs> just, just let him cook for for two weeks. You've been like, I'm gonna put cream inside of a bag and then a corn CD. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, All right, should we get into Jurassic Park? Let's get into it. <laughs> We can't do the Let's, yeah. We can't song. DMC. So. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Cutting the flute version where it's like most iconic score of all time, arguably. 
Last time I saw this movie was an orchestra Ooh. playing it at the uh, Dallas uh, Symphony. That goes fucking hard. That's yeah. awesome. The la- and I remembered it as soon as I started this movie. I was like, oh shit, the last time I saw this, I was watching the fucking orchestra perform the John Williams score. It was fucking magical, dude. That's how like iconic his scores all in are. general yeah it's just like all of them it's like it's almost like the movie secondary it's like yeah you want to see it live and then watch the movie as it happens yeah with any other composer this movie is not as good of course I agree. not yeah i've said this a million times john william I, john williams is partially responsible for steven spielberg being steven spielberg yeah yeah every iconic movie especially spielberg. close encounter of the third kind that is the be all end all of john bing bong bing, bing bong yeah you did real great on Indiana Jaws. Jones and Jaws. Can you do something similar for these aliens? Holy Iconic. shit. Iconic. That's it. He's That's a genius. It. That's how we communicate with Aryans, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I made a Nokia cell phone ringtone and put it in a fucking movie and now it's that's an iconic score ging gong ging gong bing gong and the the funniest part is that there's a bunch of scientists sitting there like dead serious like did this work we did it play the five tones (laughs) like going bing bong bing ding and then just like wait for their response (laughs) that's the funniest part of it it's literally the sly cooper boss fight with a crocodile where you're like jumping over the musical notes that are the buttons yeah it's literally that yeah it's it and then waiting for a response and it's just (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Some alien on board is just like, this will be hilarious. And he's just farting into the microphone. He just does like, a big fart. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, what does that mean? Yeah. That's peace. And then there's always the general like, they're going to fucking kill us. Yeah. But he fucking killed it with Jurassic Park. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, one of the most iconic opening scenes in cinema history, dude. For sure. Shoota. Shoot. That's, that was ingrained. Shoota. Ingrained in my brain. Fuck, man. Yeah. Does that not get you jacked the fuck up to this day, dude? And just hearing those velociraptor sounds. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking, yeah. oh. Those veloc- velociraptor sounds. And like sound design. It's all sound design. Yeah. You don't actually see them in that first sequence. Maybe an eye? Do you yeah. even see an eye? I think you see an eye, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Maybe an eye. But like, that's cool. maybe it in that first sequence. And it's like, it perfectly sets up like a horror. The, the the horror genre is perfectly encapsulated in that scene, and then we get to the movie, which is like it was such a perfect decision to do that scene before we get into the meat and potatoes of the story, right? Yeah, like the first scene is always a first impression. We talk about this a lot, yeah. where it's like that first scene changes the rest of the movie because if it just opens on like archaeology, like oh, this is a fun, it's movie. a family fun time, yeah. whatever. With that scene, you're like, oh, we're in for it. Yeah, dude. oh, People they're are gonna some, die. There's some lizard demons coming later. Yeah, and then and then also the sound design, like you said, with the noises of the raptors and stuff. <sighs> the thing about Jurassic Park is that this is how people knew dinosaurs. They right, could, dude, right. Velociraptors, vel, sorry, Velociraptors did not have any sort of social imprint before this movie. Right. You guys realize that, right? Like, I don't were, think dinosaurs in general did. Dude, t- people knew what a T Rex was, and that was like the big. <clears throat> that was the selling point. But Velociraptors weren't like a known species no. of dinosaurs. And even like the the little guys. The little guys. Little guys. The, the little movie. guys. Yeah. Little guys. Little guys. Little guys. <laughs> we have bred little guys on the island <laughs> from mosquitoes. Yeah. But yeah, the little guys in this movie, they're fucking great. Yeah. It, it, to, like, dude, they had a basketball team named after him after this fucking movie. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And the fact that not only their movements, the way they looked, but the sounds was oh. one of the biggest liberties they had to take. But everybody, you know, the iconic. Li- from the t-rex is how everyone was like yeah and then yeah. someone on twitter is like this is what it actually sounds like and it's like wow 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 and you're like no no it isn't no, it's way I, cool. dude, I, I love that. that where it's i love it whenever it's like this is what a tyrannosaurus actually sounds like and then it cuts like a uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like literally just, just uh. something yeah something just idiotic you yeah. know what i mean yeah oh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it is scary though whenever like they do the actual T Rex like bird sounds, you know what I'm talking about? Like the fucking mm-hmm. do, 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 like it's very um it's almost like they're hitting their jaw on something where yeah. it has like a <laughs> Yeah. Like yeah, I know oh, what you're talking right. about. Like that when a cat really... sees a bird and it's like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but scaled up three hundred times. Yeah. Right. I that, totally that know that cool. noise you're talking about. But you know that um that T Rex sound is like the, the the way they used it, it was like a dog plus a penguin 
plus like a crocodile. Like that's how they made the sound for that. I don't know how the fuck you do it with a velociraptor. Yeah. But whatever they did is perfect, and that's what a velociraptor sounds like. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Just- what leaps in scientific technology we fucking make that's what a raptor sounds yeah. like forever in my fucking head exactly it, like it hits my my fucking ancestors you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah like in my brain i'm like oh shit that's scary yeah. dude it's right to your three-year-old your neurons just yeah. going like oh that's a velociraptor yeah. yeah i don't care if someone on twitter says oh you know velociraptors had feathers no a velociraptor to me is a guy in a sound studio just going <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's a Velociraptor. Yeah. yeah. Tapping Just, on the fucking... The, yeah. the Canonically. Before. That bark that it has. <laughs> and then those other ones come in like... <laughs> Dude, come on. Yeah. Come on Steven now. Spielberg is the perfect director for this. You know, so they optioned the rights to this movie before the book even came out. Really? Michael Crichton was known for making... Like, he was known as like an idea guy in Hollywood. So they would adapt his books before they, like, he was like, yeah, I'm working on this. And they're like, all right, let's buy it right now. Universal sweeped it up immediately. But there was a bidding war, dude. uh, Warner Brothers was going to buy it, and they already had Tim Burton attached to direct it. No. I know. It would have been shit, right? A bunch of goth dinosaurs. (laughs) (laughs) The T-Rex going, "Mm." Yeah. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) Instead of, it's, "Mm." Yeah. Uh. Just a T-Rex in the forest listening to My Chemical Romance. Just like, (laughs) I don't know why they're not eating the lamb. I don't know why. Uh. They just depressed, I guess. They stopped eating a while ago. There were a few (laughs) other, like, bigger name directors that were attached for other studios, like, whenever they were like, okay, we want to make this movie. Uh, I know uh, Joe Dante was going to, to direct a version of, of Jurassic Park before it was optioned. Of Dante's Inferno fame. Of Dante's Inferno fame. Uh, but ultimately went to fucking Steven Spielberg, who was working on Schindler's List at the time. Yep. Fucking insane, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and the, he, he was working on Schindler, He was on pre-production on Schindler's, Schindler's List. And uh, Universal was like, okay, well, we need you to make this first. I know you're doing a movie about Auschwitz, but dinosaurs. Yeah. He's, he's like big, working, scary monsters. He's working on his magnum opus, like the one movie that's going to get him all of his director accolades, is going to win his Academy Awards, all of that. He's working on that. He's set because he wants the fucking awards. I get it. You know, he's been at the time he's like in his mid forties. Like he's mm-hmm. working his fucking ass off, and he's like, "I'm. It's time for my fucking awards. All right, let's mm-hmm. do this." And they're like, "Well, first, can we do this dinosaur movie?" So he's literally working on the edit of Jurassic Park while in Auschwitz. You know what I mean? That's, that's crazy. Nuts. While filming in Poland, like they're flying out edits of Jurassic Park to him so that he can fucking manage and, and still tweak it. And, and back then it was still like cutting, like they b- were digitizing it, but on film, like little like arts like, and craft shit. Yeah, yeah, just fucking like like fucking paper slicers yeah. to, to get it like uh, digitized. So this is Michael Crichton's, this is his fucking his thing, dude. This is what he's known for. But he did some other good shit too. Uh, he's very prolific. Yeah, Congo. I don't know if you guys remember Congo. The ape movie? Yeah. yeah. Fuck that, yeah. He wrote that. He wrote Twister. Nice. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, and then another one, which is, there are a lot of parallels to this, uh, Westworld. He's yeah. responsible for Westworld. He wrote that in like the 70s, right? Wow. I didn't know but that. But instead, it's very similar <clears throat> themes to Jurassic Park. Totally. But instead of cowboys killing people in this you know fake west world it's uh dinosaurs oh that's why they call it west world <laughs> <laughs> yeah right oh, is that Did a prequel know? to west wing yes yes, yes right. actually yeah. that's cool yeah. now now i'll watch it yeah check out the west wing um, that's where they invented the walk and talk after they <laughs> invented the walk and shoot you know <laughs> he, he also wrote uh the movie runaway starring gene simmons so ah We'll watch that eventually. Very classic. Yeah. Next week on Josh's birthday, we're <laughs> watching Runaway starring Gene Simmons. Uh, but yeah, Michael Crichton. I mean, obviously, he's got the fucking bag for this movie, dude. Yeah. Anything that's come out with Jurassic Park since then, all of the worlds, prequels, video games, movies, I mean, liter- TV shows, literally everything, he's, he's getting a bag dude good for him yeah I, but i mean this is the quintessential like god watching this really e- exaggerated how bastardized the new ones are didn't it uh, oh yeah like, i never watched past the first jurassic world to be fair but same like either. i just can't imagine like it just looks like the most cgi fest fucking family dumbed down version of 
Yeah. It's like a theme well, park version of, yeah. You know what's funny, though, is that um, <clears throat> Michael Crichton, whenever he was writing the book, uh, he actually met with like a paleontologist and like scientist, and he he was like, oh, yeah, I'm Dr. Crichton. And <laughs> yeah, and he uh, met with them on, like, he they thought, the scientists that he was meeting with, they thought he was there for like a... Um, like a conference or something? A conference, like to talk about science and shit like that. And he's like, well, in theory, how would you, you know, how would one create a <laughs> species of DNA and like, you know, all this. So he basically got the idea from other scientists and then wrote Jurassic Park and still gave them credit, but it's like, Dude made a fucking bag, and they're like, "Hi, we make nothing." And yeah, we devoted our yeah. lives. He to basically this. just like went there to take their ideas. Like, how would we possibly? I don't know. You know, scientifically speaking, you know, hypothetically, you know, hypothetically, hypothetically if someone would write a big movie with Spielberg directing. So he took that giant idea from some, <clears throat> like an act. You know, granted, you have uh, uh, scientists that like work on these movies now as sort of like um, consultants. And consultants, shit. yeah. Nolan does it all the time. Yeah. But like he just basically stole some scientist's idea and was like, "All right, so this book we use frog DNA to fuck," and then he just stole that from somebody. He just basically stole from the autistic bug guys from Sounds of the Lamb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, dude, straight up. And then they see the trailer for Jurassic wow, Park. Oh, like, are you single? <laughs> that was actually a good impression. The guy's fucking. You know he did that in the audition. Really? No, I'm saying like you know that that guy oh, did yeah, that in the yeah. audition. They're like, "Yeah, perfect, perfect." You, he has no idea, and he's like, "What?" It, on set, he just has to be like this the whole time. Like, so, Clarice. I gotta piss. I'm sorry. Are you five years old that you can't hold your water? I probably have prostate cancer. Look into it. We'll do. <laughs> we'll do. Did you watch Terry Cruz's uh, uh, Sharon Chopper interview? No. So good. Yeah? It's really, actually really good. That's a great podcast. It, it really is. I just love, I love Chopper so much. Yeah. He is so charismatic. He's just like an uncle that you wish you had. You know D- I mean? Yes, but... Like, you, that's why they call him Unc, but... Yeah. The, the, what cracks me up the most, dude, when Cat Williams was going off and he's like, well, that's why they're all p- files. And then and then Shane Sharp was just like, hold on there. <laughs> he takes a sip. Hold on there, hold on. He's like, he takes a sip, he's like, I'm going to get back in there again. <laughs> like, oh, I kind of <clears throat> get on here. The way he talks is so fucking funny. Yeah. Dude. I love him. Yeah. Just has that. He has that like fucking riz, dude. Yeah. Doesn't he say he brushes his teeth like fourteen times a day or something like that? I yeah, he's incredibly white teeth. Makes sense. He looks like a very hygienic person. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, what were we talking about? Uh, Michael Crichton. I was done. Okay. <clears throat> I I thought the intro scene was so funny too because we cut from the murderous raptor to a little kid that's like they don't sound so tough yeah and then he's I like I read your book yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's like listen here you little shit they'll cut your fucking dick off yeah but that's what's perfect about this movie is that like it has like those family friendly moments and then you, you forget that there's some horrible shit happening in this yeah Dude, the lawyer gets eaten alive yeah bro. everybody that gets eaten is established as a bad person conveniently though I mean. For no, good reason. But. A big difference in the book, though, is uh, Hammond. Doctor Hammond is uh, he's eaten in the, in the book. Oh, okay. Oh wait, Samuel L. Jackson is a good guy, and he dies. That's yeah. for, like the one exception. Who's Doctor yeah. Hammond? The main the guy, main scientist okay. guy. Yeah, the well, no, the the guy that owns the uh, right, 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 right. Yeah. The we bought a zoo guy. Yes, exactly. We bought a <laughs> that we bought it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we bought a Jurassic Zoo. Yeah, that's we, pretty good. We bought a dinosaur. We, we bought a dinosaur zoo. Yeah. Uh, man, that's perfect. Okay. That's my DMT. <laughs> yeah, that's solid. What was I going to say, dude? Oh, yeah. So in the book, he gets eaten, which is kind of a perfect way to end the story, I think. Yeah, kind of. But I think with Steven Spielberg, he's like, yeah, we're not going to kill the happy old man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. a sequel plan, and he's a central character. <laughs> well, we've, we've established he's sexist already, though, so you could get away with it. He's a bad guy. Yeah, he's a bad guy. No, dude, I thought that would have been perfect, though. But then again, I understand it's a family, family movie. You don't want to kill the fucking sweet well, old man. It, it's not only that, but it's... A granddad. It's a granddad. The grandkids are in the movie. Yeah, but he they, brought it on himself. That was the the beauty of the book is that you know he gets eaten by his own creation. A true play, ex playing moment. God. You know that it's it's a great ex machina thing. Yes, it's a perfect analogy. But I get. I understand full, why they didn't do it. Yeah, I get the full circle. How like wholesome that would be. Like as a whole, the, to come full circle on that. You need to stop saying that. I know. We'll edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I fucking right. I'm, no, when won't. you come on the hole. Yeah. Yeah, I get yeah. I'm kidding. But but to then have like you can't have once the grandkids are involved, then yeah. it's like if he was just a tyrannical guy, like he like he was tyrannical in a sense, and just the Elon Musk that just wanted to fuck around and find out. Yeah. Then he finds out. 
that would I get what you're saying. They they kind of bring it full circle though in uh, Jurassic World. So ah, I'm glad they did that. Yeah. What happened? I don't even remember. <clears throat> Dude, Jurassic World is the same plot as as Jurassic Park. It's the same fucking thing. You're talking about the first Jurassic World or like the most recent? The first one? Jurassic World is the same plot as Jurassic Park. I think that's the only one I saw. I don't remember anything except for. Oh yeah, Chris Pratt. Yeah. Dude, as I was watching these Velociraptor scenes in this one, it really really exaggerated how bastardized and stupid the Jurassic Worlds are because like oh no they're in the kitchen about to eat these kids if only Chris Pratt was there to go stop it stand down guys they yeah. understand an alpha hey hey they understand a handout <laughs> yeah what are you talking they about? would fucking eat your like, goddamn oh why didn't you just do that we're stupid yeah don't I'm what, sorry why don't the kids just stand up and go uh-uh yeah swiper no swiping fucking <laughs> raptor no killing like what are you doing yeah. Jeez. Dude, I, another reason that this one is so much more superior, it's almost the same thing as uh, the Gorilla Kong thing, where they're in the new ones, they're humanized too much, but also they're not ominous, just violent reptile dinosaurs. Yeah, they yeah. brought back a force of nature. Yes, yeah. it, and in this one, they obviously didn't know what they were dealing with. Oh, a fence will stop them. All that you know, ignorance that yeah. is their downfall. They there is real danger within a hundred feet of any of them yeah. even the cute ones like the little raptor guy he's like hey. even yeah. even him kills is killer yeah so and in the new ones it's it's more like a zoo where it's like ah oh, we bred some some good ones some veggies some veggie ones and whatever yeah like this one feels like oh you're in over your shit Period. Which is why uh, Jeff Goldblum's character is the best part of this movie, dude. Yeah, he's Agreed. like, you're a fucking idiot for doing dude, this. Dude, yeah. but, but it perfectly sets up the, the fucking, yeah, no, duh, of this whole fucking situation. Yeah. He's the I told you so character. Yes. Yeah. And he does it so well, by the way. <laughs> uh, uh. Really quick, though, did you know Jim Carrey auditioned for uh, Dr. Malcolm's role? I would have loved that. I would not have. No? No, Jeff Goldblum, the rizzed up scientist, is the way to go. Yeah. Jim Carrey, I love his overacting, but that, he would have swallowed up every scene like he always you're does. Right, you're yeah. right. And I don't think I could have. It would have been a little much. Yeah. He'd have been like, you're going to put the dinosaurs in there? What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He would just go insane with yeah. it, and it would be, he'll do a fucking dinos dinosaur oh my God, impression. Yeah. The yeah. Whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, Another uh, casting decision. Uh... Harrison Ford turned down the role of um, Dr. Uh, Sam Neill's character. Yeah, the same guy. The main guy? Yeah. That makes... I mean, I could have taken Harrison Ford. It makes perfect sense. Also, William Hurt turned down the role. The dad from Home Alone? No. Is that John Hurt? I don't know who that is. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> William Hurt is... Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but but I can see those as... He is just a, sort of an everyman noble guy. So I can see both of those totally. people. Yeah. And I think Harrison Ford was like... Ultimately, when, we, when he saw the movie, and he's like, oh, shit, this is a huge fucking thing. He was like actually still like, honestly, I'm glad it turned it down because Samuel was perfect for the role. Well, he he's was. already a doctor. He's Dr. Indiana Jones, so he couldn't do it. He That's can't, true. You can't double... You can't moonlight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, Sam Neill is perfect in this, though. And he is. What's crazy, though, is that the biggest star on this entire cast was Jeff Goldblum. That is wild. Like, at the time, Laura Dern had been in, like, David Lynch movies, so right. not real movies. Right. Yeah, David uh, Lynch had been on a corner trying to sell her for Academy Award consideration. I bought a billboard. Yeah. I'm going to sit out here with a sign. It's a grassroots marketing campaign to get Laura Dern I get nominated for the Twin Peaks or whatever the fuck she did. Okay. Inland Empire. I hate that movie, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who was a fuck? She's a fucking babe in this movie. Great actress. She's she's amazing and like a female icon in this fucking movie, though. Mm -hmm. For real, though. Yeah. She goes full Tomb Raider at some parts. Yeah. 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 Man, dude, the part where she she's like holding a human head. You're like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah. She's got she's elbow deep in shit, and you're like, girl boss. Yeah. <laughs> she really does girl boss her whole way through this fucking yeah. movie. Yeah. I love. That's she why don't I need no fucking man, dude. And fuck that. There was that scene, too, where yeah. the, the doctor was like, wait, shouldn't I go, the crippled 70-year-old man, 75-year-old <laughs> man that walks on a cane? I have a dick, so I have a better chance of winning. Yeah. And she's like, no, you fucking moron. Dumb dick. And then she cartwheels her way to the <laughs> you fucking... You dumb dick. <laughs> I mean, that's the line in Jurassic Park. No, you dumb dick. 
old Spielberg's like, you know what? Keep it in. Yeah. <laughs> old dumb dick over here wants to run to the shed full of velociraptors. Here's my impression of that guy. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> An old dumb dick doctor. Fucking dumb dick. Dumb dick. Um, but yeah, so there was that moment that I love where she Tomb Raiders her way to that shed. Uh, also, her fucking acting in the Brontosaurus scene, or br- Bronchiosaurus. What? Bron- I don't know. When, when you first see a fucking dinosaur in the movie. Yeah, it's perfect. The head turn. Yeah. The head turn. Yeah. Her, her. that is one of the best takes in cinema history. Also, I mean, Spielberg, yes, but Spielberg is also just like a suspense builder. He through really, he's through. a master. He is sure. a master of that. You don't see it for so long, and you see their reactions before you see that, the boom up. Fucking perfect. And also, then, the perfect blend of practical and CGI in this yes. movie, just in general. We've said it a million times. Dude. Yeah. It's something that is based on limitations more than it is based on creative direction. And that's what right. they need to do. But th- yeah. It's like, but it was perfect. Uh, but it was perfect. This is why this is like in the 90s and early 2000s, like golden age of cinemas, because not only, not only are the shots a great mix of practical and CG, but how much you show, yeah. which leaves more to the imagination. It's like you have to show the water rumbling. You have to show the chaos of that. You have to show this and that because you can't just, in Jurassic World 5, they're just going to be like, well, if the T-Rex comes out of the woods, let's just computer it. Yeah. And let's have the T-Rex come out of the woods. In this, you have to show the, everyone reacting. You can't. It's the Jaws treatment. It's the same thing. How many shots uh, do you think were CGI? I know. Three. How, I know how many. So, three? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Immediately don't concedes. You <laughs> he wants to be a millionaire. How many shots were CGI in Jurassic Park? Three? That's not even on the multiple know. choice. I'm sorry. I don't know. Can I gotta I, go. Do I? You've got lifelines. I don't want to call. I don't, I don't even well, want to use them. <laughs> In comparison, a movie like uh, Star Wars uh, Phantom Menace, I think they said, was uh, 4,000 individual shots with CGI. I feel like my guess is pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jurassic Park has 55. I was much closer to Jurassic Park than Phantom Menace in that regard. In that regard, yes, you were. So in that <laughs> regard, I'm kind of a savant. Yeah, if you were on The Price is Right, you would have won. <laughs> yeah. So basically you won. Yeah, good yeah. job. Yeah, 55 does seem low. When I saw that, I was like... Fuck yeah, it is, right? dude. That's how many burgers and fries and tater tots and spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to ILM. 55 T-Rexes, 55 <laughs> Velocity Rapids, 55 Triceratops. 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos. <laughs> yeah, that's literally seems so low. That's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Especially when you think like a lot of that, probably a lot of the CGI, I mean, granted the very end uh, with the... T Rex fucking slamming yeah. the fucking Velociraptor. The most iconic shot of all time. Is that is that it for you? The with when he roars and the the true the, the banner the banner the, falls down. It says when dinosaurs rule the earth. That's so hard. It is one of the hardest shots in cinema history. And it is one I recreated in my bedroom many times. As a <laughs> yeah. Did, just, did you play Lost World on PS One? Yes, dude. That, where you game. just are a T Rex. Yeah, like that, that game fucks. Yeah, absolutely. I was a little bummed because you start as like one of those little baby things. True, yeah, but yeah. But then, yeah. but then you get to play it. You're actually pretty good. <laughs> that was your scene when you were a kid. Absolutely, goosebumps. Like that is. I didn't know what to do with the goosebumps. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. It was like a child being like, "What am I feeling?" Yeah, but it's like, like having too much icing. Me. You know what I mean? It's just like you're just over overwhelmed. Yeah. with with emotion and fucking. The feeling of watching magic on screen, man. I, yeah. I totally get it. I mean, all the suspense of them being cornered by the raptors and like, oh no, they're they're done for. And then they they miss the three story monster that came through the yeah. lobby. I guess. Oh shit! Dude, oh shit! <laughs> Where'd he come from? Especially he the terrifying mode. the terrifying pose of that velociraptor as he's about to fucking eat the family. Dude. That fucking pose that it makes. It's like full. It's a monster. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it it's... gets down low and barks, and then about to. Oh. And then right then, yeah. beep, 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 the swell, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Man? Beep, 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 beep. And then they're like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> let's fucking get. Yeah. Uh, wow, dude. Uh, well, I will say, though, though, the fucking shot of the T Rex as he escapes the um, oh, his yeah. perimeter at night when it's raining, and then that first. <gasps> That shot for me is the one, dude. That, yeah. That one looks the best, I it think. It looks the realest of anything in this fucking... Like, that looks realer than most CGI today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a tribute to 
like have you, did you watch the behind the scenes there's like a featurette on it, yeah. like 20 minutes on youtube where it's like what they had to do and the research they did on like sick like the, it like everybody's theory on why this looks so good today is because of the science that went into informing how it moves and how it's animated but also i mean ilm is just the be all end all yeah. now and they yeah. they invent things they're like Pixar. Yeah, you know, yeah. they invent things to invent. And so there were less like, shots okay. for them to have to focus on too. The fifty five shots, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That today that would be a fucking joke. I know. Yeah. Like yeah. like fifty five shots is like just that's how much CGI is in a Marvel's post credit scene now. Yeah. So like this and in the documentary, it was so funny because it cut to like their render farm, which is just like a like old white IBM towers. Yeah, the most powerful state of the art computers available. Just beige them, everywhere. Just beige everywhere. <laughs> just running Windows ninety five. Just cranked up to a thousand RPM. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. just trying to render a T Rex. Just like just smoke coming out of all of them. And they're like, "Yeah, we had to run that for three months to get a T Rex." Yeah. And they're cooling like, it down with a fucking airplane propeller, dude. Just yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's like a thousand degrees in that room. And then they, that is probably enough as much computing power that is in our cell phone now. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's just so insane. They did this, but yeah, that, and I, lo- I love when they're like demonstrating to Steven Spielberg for the first time, like, okay, this is how we're going to make them like run like the, 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 the lawful sword. I don't fucking know what they're the called. The fucking dogs. ostrich ones. The ostrich ones. Okay. Okay. When he's demonstrating, they're showing him for the first time how they're going to run using CGI it's literally just like just green bars, like green little right. skeletons that are going, and he's he literally starts crying. <laughs> he's like, "This this this is gonna work." <laughs> yeah. Like, because before they were gonna do stop motion. Yeah. Oh, like, like the cl- Henry House and shit. Yeah. It's yeah. Gonna look or like, like Ar- Army of Darkness. You know what I mean? Exactly. Which is fine for what it is, but it, like that's not what Spielberg wanted to do at all. No, it's like it, some Clash of the Titan shit. Yeah, yeah, you see early tests, and you're like, "Damn, if that was the iconic scene." That it, it would not have been iconic because you know you see stop motion that jerky little motion they do is always just it's a miniature stop motion it just looks like it yeah and then yeah the first test when he saw it he's like well this is gonna work and then he turned to the stop motion guy and the the stop motion guy turned to Steven Spielberg <laughs> and he's like well I guess I'm extinct damn and yeah. then they use that line in the movie when the um, he's like do I get royalties for that please tell me I get money <laughs> yeah the, when I think you know. Doc, the doctor's character because he digs up bones he sees this and he's like it's like well i think i'm out of a job and then jeff goldblum goes well don't you mean extinct and then right. he flashes his chest hair and he goes time to become a fly <laughs> <laughs> he's truly like dr fuckboy in this movie dude it's, yeah. so, it's funny. so great but I, I love that line where how they introduce him too it's like i bring scientists you bring a rock star after like, he like sexually assaults L- lorna laura dern basically oh yeah he's like i'm gonna fuck your wife Right in front of you, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "Tee, yeah. so cute." Yeah, you, you're not. Uh, you know all about attraction, don't you, Doctor? Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> "We suddenly gained four thousand tons of water in the back seat of the of the helicopter." It's actually not raining outside. That's all Laura Dern. <laughs> <laughs> he derned it to her, dude. Yeah. <laughs> In the iconic Jurassic Park scene, did you know? Yeah. <laughs> in the, in the, in the, It'd be funny to make it a you, uh, did you know channel and it's all bullshit, just misinformation. That would be hilarious. That's our podcast. Yeah, yeah, that's literally our podcast. And, and then we inevitably get commenters that are like, actually, that's not the right dinosaur. After they go, what is this movie? <laughs> yeah. I will say, though, yeah. Steven Spielberg knows how to direct kids, man. For sure. It's true. He just, he just has a way, he has a way with children. What you, can you say? You can argue it's it. Just a rich man. Nothing got away with children. Nothing weird about it. Nothing weird about it, dude. He just knows how they think. He just he, knows what does they he like. know P. Diddy? I have no idea. No one knows. But whenever she's like, he left us, he left us, and like we get it, Steven Spielberg. You're a child of divorce. Right. <laughs> Keep talking about it, I guess, dude. Puts it in every goddamn movie. Yeah. Get over it. Yeah. You're, Go to therapy. Your dad didn't like yeah. you very much. He just didn't like you. That's all that is. And the, and it the, is your fault. And then the T-Rex <laughs> is a metaphor for the dad, actually. So when the dude... Dude, okay. <laughs> Wait, I did, what? No, I is did, that real? I'm okay. fucking around. I, in all seriousness, though, there's a YouTube essay about this dude that goes around. I'm fucking... I, <laughs> Both I, of us just rolled on I gotta that. do it. I gotta do Go it. Go for it. This guy has an essay, or he'll do a presentation about uh, Jurassic Park and how it is an allegory for becoming a parent. Oh. <laughs> you, you know what just became a parent? You're a fucking dumb dick. 
<laughs> uh oh, we got a dumb dick over here. Fucking dumb. Ass. Check out that take on dumbdickyoutube.com. So you know how at the very beginning when they're looking at the sonogram of the raptor in the sand, <laughs> they they haven't they're not parents yet, so <laughs> Holy fucking shit, dude. <laughs> and then afterwards, Sam Neill has to become their guardian and take care of these children that he didn't want in the first place. And that she becomes a guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> and wow. that's a Chris Pratt movie. <laughs> and that ties it all together, you see. Welcome back to YouTube Essays by fucking dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts to that guy. We'll put him here. Yeah. I love a good YouTube essay. Meanwhile, and like, that's why I hated that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the book author and Steven Spielberg are like are just oh, like, shit. I want the big dinies. Big dinos big in a movie. Dinies. Big dino fellas. Um, yeah. But shouts to that guy who had that theory about becoming a parent, and that's what Jurassic Park's about. There is a subtext of that, but it's like who who walks away from the big dino movie and goes? Uh, that was about parenting. That was about parenting. You just watch dinosaurs eat people. Yeah. <laughs> the hell? Yeah, you, well, you have to eat your young in a sense to... Uh, <laughs> oh, I think he was trying to say that the that the guy, what's his name, Dr. Hammond, was supposed to be God because he's wearing all white all the time. and fucking. He is playing God, but like... Yeah. That's just how risked up billionaires look. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's how wealth They're looks. They're not 28-year-olds. How, yeah. how do you look wealthy? Well, you wear white all day with confidence. Yeah, that's how you look wealthy. Where it's like uh, this is at my old job, our CEO that the company was named after, he wore white everything. See, and fucking like in sandals and fucking like puka shell necklaces. Jesus they get Jesus Christ. syndrome immediately. And and he had a fucking he had like a long white ponytail and long white beard. Did you whole... work for Jesus? Like literally, God. decrepit, <laughs> fucking decrepit. You just can never eat mustard. Just all white all the time. Yeah, mayo only. Extra mayo, please. <laughs> <laughs> on my cream mayo, corn. Please. Get mayo on my cream <laughs> corn. In the conference room, there's a big old painting of him. No there. way. Jesus. Why don't you just put a picture of your dick in every fucking room? Literally. Might as well. This building is actually the shape of my dick to size. <laughs> you see. <laughs> you see. <laughs> you see. <laughs> you see. <laughs> all right. What, whatever. Whatever, dude. Anyway, so uh, do you guys agree that it's about becoming, it's an allegory about becoming parents? Yeah, oh. whatever you d- think is what I also agree with. Cool, man. So, so yeah, I agree. Shout to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I just want Jeff Goldblum, like, cut to Jeff Goldblum laughing at that take. You know, just go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Touch grass. Yeah. <laughs> Touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, I got to say, that breaker box, so satisfying. Oh yeah. So something about the yunk, chunk, chunk, flunk, junk. Yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. Ten hour ASMR dress yeah. park switches YouTube. Dude, I <laughs> love that shit so much. It reminds me of two thousand one, I guess. Like it kinda has like a uh uh yeah, that motherboard big chunky gunk. That is very yeah, satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Especially when all the, the plates light up as he's as she's clicking them. So good. Something 2001 about it. Dude, speaking of 2001, we forgot to totally, we forgot to mention Godzilla versus Kong, the 2001 moment when they go to Hollow Earth and it's all their faces. You never, you never. What happened? When they went to Hollow Earth for the first time. Oh, through the wormhole? Yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. That was definitely an homage to 2001. That was totally an homage to 2001. Anyways. Anyways. That's 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 a better movie than 2001. I'm just going to say. That's a better take than Jurassic Park is (laughs) about parenting. Yeah. Uh, arguably yes. Arguably yes. <laughs> oh man, I want that breaker box though. Gunk. Just like, just like a, a fidget, fidget toy. Me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want. Uh... Did you did you get uh, shining vibes from the uh, the raptor scene in the kitchen? Shining vibes, like Jack Torrance hunting the kid. Mm. No, no. Not you really. don't think Spielberg? I mean, Spielberg was a huge fucking fan. He cre- recreated a a shining scene in uh, Ready Player One. That's true. You know, yeah, the, I can see a little influence because the even even the stuff getting kicked off the counter, yeah, and, like the Jack wiping the counters with all the silverware and shit. Yeah, I got shining vibes from it. I can see that getting it, hunted. But that scene is its own perfect scene in <laughs> cinema. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think it needs the reference yeah. to the Shining to no. be good. It the Raptor kitchen scene is fucking, it's fucking terrifying when you're a kid watching that for the first time. Is that the best scene in this movie? 
arguably you could argue it the hunt scene is one of the best yeah <laughs> just picturing the raptors come through the door it's like here's johnny and it's like i got shining vibes <laughs> <laughs> did you catch the shining reference it just oh, goes dude, oh, oh, yeah. and it says here's johnny in yeah. subtitles <laughs> in raptor yeah in raptor <laughs> in raptor speak well it's just like in uh, jurassic park 3 when the velociraptor says alan alan oh my god remember that yeah hey alan I alan i don't remember that. like the, the, in this trilogy yes i don't remember that at all yeah in part three I need to rewatch those. There's a raptor that goes, "Hey, Alan." <laughs> what? Yeah. What? The, and like, so we bred it with uh, human vocal cords this time, dude. What the fuck? Dude? They're it's learning a, it's how a to dream sequence. But... Oh, okay. But still. Oh yeah, yeah. I rewatched all of them not too long ago, and it was three my... is good. Three is good. Three is a certified good time. Two. Three is better than two. Yeah, two is not that great. Even though I like Jeff Goldblum a lot, right? Jeff and Goldblum is in two way more. And Steven Spielberg directed two. He did. How is three better? I think Spielberg just wanted the bag on two. Which one starts with the beach scene being eaten by little babies? Little two. Guys. That's two. Little guys. The little guys. The little guys. Little guys. Certified the... little guy moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. That scared the shit out of me. when. when no, was that was kid. brutal. Yeah. Also, they didn't give a shit to look after their kid like at all. Yeah. No. Like he ran like a mile away before they were like, Hey, wait a minute. Also, the best jump cut when it's like it's the little girl screaming and then cut to uh, Jeff Goldblum yawning. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's so great, good. That's a great cut. Like, yeah. how? Yeah. How? Dude, the, the scene in two where the bus is hanging off the cliff, that's suspenseful. That's for sure very good. Always a vehicle off a cliff with Spielberg, but it's always so good. Yeah. He's such a master at tension. Three is better than two. Three is better than two for sure. Yeah, I agree. That's a hot take, though. Not no, it is not. I don't think it so. is not. I think really? most no. people agree three is. Most people superior. agree two is. Two is not directed even great. by Steven Spielberg, and I'm saying yeah, three is better. Yes, that's irrelevant to the fact that it's a better movie. Good directors yeah. are capable of making a bad movie. Uh, Look at Schindler's List. Not so. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, this is more believable than that. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. they're both fiction. Certified Ben Shapiro moment. <laughs> <laughs> Certified Andrew Tate Daily Wire moment. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. Reading fiction is for fucking idiots. <laughs> oh, man. Lift weights. Uh, uh, capture women. <laughs> yeah, traffic women. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, the Raptor scene is not my favorite, though. What's your favorite? Uh, T-Rex escaping. It goes hard. The first, the, yeah, the first, like... Yeah. In the rain. It was yeah. a truly How hard moment. How fucking batshit insane. They're like, well, it's the car. Everything shut down. Whoopsie daisy. Oops. We turned they're off. all on tracks. <laughs> they can't move. <laughs> they're just shut down in the middle of a thousand predators, prehistoric yeah, yeah. predators. Yeah, and the, the the arrogance to think this wouldn't go fucking haywire is so funny when you watch this. It's one. It's almost a comedy. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. lots of goofs and gags. And you Park. could say yes. Yeah, when when T Rex comes out of it and he's like, whoop, 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 and he slips whoa, on. Whoa. Yeah. He's chasing after things and he's going both ways. It's <laughs> <laughs> a kid running. He left us. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. Your child is divorced. My Faja. Yeah. Um. The lawyer getting eaten. No one cares about him. No, they can all die. No, I don't really care. Even I, though he's kind of a good guy, though. Yeah, but he's a lawyer, so arguably he cannot be a good but guy. But he was there to be like, if this is not up to code, we're shutting this fucking place down, and then it gets eaten immediately. I would, No, I, but then he, he sees one dinosaur, and he's like, we're going to make a fucking fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a sh- sh- he's, piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. His eyes turned into money symbols. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the law. Yeah. Let's kill everyone for money. Become God. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of become God, become death, you see the picture of Oppenheimer on the monitor? I did. Yeah. It also made me like, holy shit, dude. Our, like, it, because that was the first time I saw Oppenheimer, period, yeah. ever, was this movie. Right. But it didn't click until I watched the movie. I'm like, holy shit, that was Oppenheimer this whole fucking time. Yeah, you're not going to be five and be like, is that the inventor of the atomic bomb? Oh, that's, oh shit, that's that guy. That's obviously Dr. Oppenheimer. It's that boy. It's yeah. Oppie. <laughs> that boy. <laughs> it's that boy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that was kind of a cool, like... I mean, you know, it was pretty on the nose as far as metaphors go, but it was cool to see. I don't get it. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? He's so, just a cool dude. So when when he dropped the bomb on the Japanese, he made Godzilla. And oh, then, and then that's when a big this lizard. guy dropped it, and this is also a big lizard, too. Hey, welcome back to big dumb <laughs> dirt takes dot YouTube dot com. Yeah. Dumb dick onlys for this episode. All right. <laughs> dumb certified dumb dick moment. 
Is this uh, still a childhood classic for you? Or are you still absolutely fucking rewatching this bad boy? Yeah. 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 I guess. Yeah. Are, are we wrapping up? Oh, no. I'm just asking. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean we're, we're doing it for your birthday episode. It's your birthday episode. And this one m- meant a lot to you as a kid, obviously, right? Still holds up. This yeah. is this isn't one of those movies. I mean, it's fucking Jurassic Park. We're not gonna be like, does it hold up? Yeah, in <laughs> like you know, it's, it's fucking amazing. It famously holds up. Famously, yeah. it is. It is amazing. And part of me, when I see this, wishes it was, it was a one-off. When I see just this one. But that's impossible. It's Too impossible marketable. with something yeah. this blockbuster, this franchise. With the amount ready. of dinosaurs there are, yeah. you know how many toys that sells, dude. Yeah, it's it's franchise does ready. It, does it upset you at all that uh, that all of these dinosaurs are not from the Jurassic period? No, I. That was one of the first things that. I, I don't learned. Care, dude. Yeah. yeah, that was one of the first things that I learned about dinosaurs. Though it's like, oh yeah, the Jurassic Park dinosaurs are from the Crustaceous period. Like, <laughs> I don't give a fucking. Yeah, but look shit. at that fucking logo, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's like, oh, we got to change the perfect, sick, iconic logo. Yeah. Because it's hey, from the look fucking... at this. <laughs> yeah. Dude. You don't want him going in the lobby. Like, what the fuck you talking uh, about? Guys, you have to change the whole movie because a nerd pointed something out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's called Crustacean Park, dude. Crustacean Park. It's a lobster park. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, we fo- focus groups Crustacean Park. Didn't really go that well. Yeah. Fucking or what is it called? Cretaceous. The fu- Cretaceous. Ah, fuck oh it. darn. Oh fuck. I and I guarantee you, even those three times that it, you said crustacean before I said Cretaceous, people are gonna be like, actually, in the actually, yeah. Yeah. the fucking shit. Put it on your dumb dick takes. Put it on your tombstone, you fucking. All loser. I know is it was PC. <laughs> fuck you, man. That's yeah. right, dude. Because Jesus and the cavemen hung out with dinosaurs. Yeah. Because that's before crustaceans. Yeah. <laughs> this exactly. is a godless heathen movie, dude. Yeah. It it defiles everything. Have you seen those uh, those theme parks where it's like cavemen on animatronic dinosaurs in like the deep south? No. Where it's like it's an ev- evangelical theme park. Dude, those are crazy. Where they all live together in, yes. in one period. Just denying all smart people's findings. Yeah. It's I just crazy. Say, see, I'm so dumb. I say the smart ones. The smart guys, when they went to the dumb guys, they were like, you guys are stupid. They're like, no, <laughs> but this fucking text that was written on skin from 3,000 <laughs> yeah. years ago is more yeah, accurate. Yeah, yeah. By a guy. <laughs> yeah, just some guy. Yeah. But you see, this one says Ooga Booga. <laughs> yeah. And Joe Rogan's like, hey, he actually ate magical mushrooms and wrote that. Oh my God. So, anyways, um, I love the scene where uh, he first, they first see that. They were just lizards tripping, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, just, they were all on DMT, actually. That's how English got invented, is they ate a mushroom <laughs> and they were like, Ooga Booga. But Yorick, I hardly knew him, whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I love the first scene when uh, they see the brontosaurus and then... Um, Bronchiosaurus. Whatever. And then they... <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> I used to be able to name all of them when Dude, I was same. like five years yeah. old. Yeah. Like, Everyone when they're five years old is autistic. Yes. <laughs> because you have nothing else to worry about but that. Yeah. That's all that occupies your brain. And yeah. they're like, wow, my son is so smart. He made, names dinosaurs. Yeah. And I'm just like, that's all I have. All the... All- <laughs> This is all I have, lady. That's my whole personality. I'm wearing a dino t-shirt. <laughs> yes. I talk about dinos. I have dino toys. Yes. That's it. And then all of that terminology. <laughs> I love a triceratops. Yeah. All that terminology got replaced with my work passwords, essentially. Right. Yeah. Oh, I have to two factor authenticate this again. Yeah. And I'll kill myself. But yeah, that scene with the, the brontosaurus, and then he's like, oh my God, you made a dinosaur. And then he's like, yes, the Tyrannosaurus rex are on the other exhibit or something. He's like, you, you have to you, you have a fucking... And he fucking oh, his no. prostate explodes. <laughs> He's just like, J- you have a fucking get that checked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will do. And he does that again later with the egg. And he's like, what species is this? When he finds the egg, or when the Velociraptor well, hatches. Velociraptor hatches. Oh. That, that. Oh yeah, when he's like, you made a raptor. You bred. Raptors. Can I say something? No. That spe- oh shit. All right, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that specific scene with the raptor coming out of the egg. I love that scene in the first place. It's amazing. I love the practical effects and how everyone sells it, and it looks real for sure. But I went to Universal Orlando last year, the year before, and they have the whole Jurassic Park area where it, it like is Jurassic Park essentially. Yeah, and they have behind a pane of glass these actors acting out that scene for whoever happens to be watching it just walking by and i stopped there and i have to say they went so hard really recreating that scene with perfect effects everyone all the actors like 
giving like a Tony performance. Fuck. For, dude, do that. Yeah. Do that. If you like Jurassic Park at all, fucking do that seriously. Which is what the theme park is. Yes. There's a there's like a rotating thing where you watch the science. That's sick. That's literally what they're recreating. Dude, it's right? exactly, yes. With the bars. They it, have the yeah. bars. And dude, they have that atrium where it's got the fucking all that. The, that's recreated the infotainment dump they yes, had where it it's is. like actually dna is blah blah yes. and then one child every tour is chosen to be <laughs> yeah. eaten alive by <laughs> yeah. a fucking velociraptor and then my prostate went in my mouth on the veloci coaster yeah <laughs> <laughs> dude yeah but dude for real d- do that it's so good yeah then the like the the coaster or the fucking ride like employees come in it's like is anybody in here a grandkid by chance <laughs> yeah. and they're like fuck 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 no fuck. no 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 <laughs> But they uh, put you in the T Rex ride where it has like the handlebars, but like it makes your arms do this. <laughs> that would actually be good, right? Uh, I loved also the fact that they were for like th- it just shows their arrogance too. They would be like, "Here's the T Rex exhibit, no yelling." There was, yeah. like, there was like signs that said, "No flash photography, no feeding, no yelling," as if like a T Rex is gonna walk up and like catch some scrap, you know? And it's they're throwing them cheese. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. What are you talking about? You feed it a whole goat, and you think, like, <laughs> dude, that scene actually made me really sad when I was a kid. Oh yeah, like I was like, <laughs> where's the goat? Yeah, in the cow too. That yes, shit, yeah, that shit was rough, brutal. But uh, it made me laugh that there was bathrooms at that place where the t- the jeeps broke down at the t-rex exhibit where it's yeah like, and it's are you implying you were gonna let people get out well they gotta go somewhere and then <laughs> and then like it was like well if there's anywhere to put b- bathrooms it's a fucking t-rex exhibit because people are gonna be shitting out their ass and yeah they see the prehistoric monster come out of the woods they just, just have a hole in every jeep seat you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. like, they're just dumping the whole yeah. time just the toilet car <laughs> yeah yeah just fucking creating uh, triceratops shits all over the place. <laughs> just that's how it's made. Yeah. Just emptying out the jeeps at the end of each <laughs> tour. It's like, oh yeah, that's the tr- <laughs> triceratops. Fucking yeah. yeah, whatever. And then, and then, <laughs> yeah, whatever. The, the, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> just abandoning. There was another line of do- dialogue that made me laugh because he was like, "Dinologue, if you will." Oh wow, very well said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where where they get out and then it turns to Samuel Jackson. He's like, "I knew we should have locked those cars." So we're like. What are you talking about? The hell? As they're going through the Raptor I told exhibit, you those cars should have had locking mechanisms. That should have been the first thing we did. Shut, Duh. shut up. Shut up. Shut up, dude. Yeah. For real, man. Fuck that guy. I actually, I played the uh, Jurassic Park arcade game shooter last time I went to the movies. It was a good time. Oh, yeah. We, That's a classic. That's, we do that all the time. Yeah. yeah. All the fucking time, dude. Every day. Every day of my life. I play that game. I have it in my house. No, uh... <laughs> What the fuck else was I going to say? Dude? Oh, dude, the Triceratops scene, man. With the shit? I was like, that is... No, just whenever they're like looking at it when it's sick, I was just like, that's real, man. It's so fucking cool. The fucking animatronics team pops off to scale. Amazing. Amazing. You, going in, Spielberg wanted to make everything an animatronic to scale. That's Brontosaurus. That's, Bronchosaurus. Oh, whatever. that is like, wild. Like, what? You're going to make a building? Yeah, but eventually they were like, no, we have to compute that. He's like, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. fuck you. Fuck what do you mean? What do you mean like, I honestly, can't I'm worried about Hitler right now. Like, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, what do you mean I can't build a walking skyscraper? Yeah. He's, at, at a certain point, he's just like, ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the Triceratops scene, too, because obviously the huge ship, but then the uh, Laura Dern walks up and she goes, so what's wrong with it? And it cuts to like some guy. I just imagine him being like, I don't fucking know. It's a dinosaur. This is all new shit, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking idiot. I mean, it's old shit, but it's new shit. Dude, they have crazy diseases. We didn't even know. He's all fucked up. He's just the doctor from Idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's so fucked he's all up. fucked up, dude. I don't know, man. His shit's fucked and he's fucked up. Yeah. I don't know, man. He's probably just tired. Yeah. <laughs> he shit a lot I guess yeah. does that mean anything you sh- you just be shitting all the time she's like I'm gonna dig in it <laughs> he's like why he's, he's she's like fuck? I don't know mm-hmm. I don't know maybe something in there wanted to bored bored <laughs> <laughs> just fucking bored I'm gonna dig in the shit he's like okay you do you they found me on Fiverr so <laughs> I, I don't fucking um, yeah Jeff Goldblum is like Pepe Le Pew basically this whole movie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, he looks like him kind of he's basically just like touching is like oh what if i what if i just hmm just <laughs> dropped a bit of water on your hand and imagine that water's come just just imagine imagine <laughs> imagine my hot cum on your hand <laughs> imagine that think about it internalize it internalize it and um that's that's chaos theory <laughs> it's like what oh, what the fuck are you talking about dude 
Anyways. I want more kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always looking for another ex-wife. <laughs> 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 hey, seem man. Like this whole story is a parable for having children. It's almost as if. I was laughing also at Norman. Is his name Norm- Norman? That's just what he is in my head. The guy that oh. had to smuggle out the whipped cream. I can't remember his name. Whatever the guy Newman Newman oh Newman from Seinfeld, from Seinfeld. yeah 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 his oh name, that's why his name is uh, Nedry okay Wayne, Wayne Knight I was just pick, like like he buys a like a embryo smuggling device and just like all right so it's whipped cream you put the cold embryos in here and then you shove it in your ass like a drug mule <laughs> yeah. and then you have to vacate the park like, like, why don't you just put it in your bag <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a shit. disguise already yeah. you didn't need to shove it in your yeah. ass like why are you putting shaving cream in your asshole <laughs> the hell <laughs> the hell it's got a bush He's like, do you? That was such a perfect little device, though. It, dude, that blew it my mind. It captured my mind when yeah. I was a child. You know what I mean? The, Same. When it when it pops up. Also, the genius product placement for that, because then every yeah. time I see that shaving cream, I think Jurassic Park. Yep. Mm-hmm. You think there's some Jurassic embryos yes, in there? Yes, and I sure. buy it, and I'm like, there might. You never know. You never know. One out of every a thousand whipped cream. You never cans. know. <laughs> or is it shaving cream? Shaving cream. But then he put it on his pie, so they filled it, it with whipped cream. Like, I guess. No. Oh, he was just fucking around. It was like on the table next to him. He just puts it on a piece of pie. Oh, okay. Just so someone and will be like... He eats it and he's like, that's shaving cream. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> Dies immediately. <laughs> <laughs> the movie doesn't happen. Immediate corpse. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Directed by Steven Spielberg. Slowly lowering the casket and they're like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they're lowering him into the Velociraptor pit. Just yeah. <laughs> What do we think of him getting eaten by the fucking whatever that this guy is? Cool. I felt bad for that him in that scary, scene. That was scary, Because that chase is pretty cool. That's a good chase scene. It is a good chase scene. It is. Uh, but I love how they can't show it moving because it's a, a puppet. But dude, that and like the way that its yeah. lips furl or whatever. Scared like, the shit out of they, me. like curl. Man, that shit is scary. Fucking awesome, dude. And it's just a little guy. It's a little guy. Just a little guy. But he spews fucking just black jizz everywhere, dude. Yeah. As we all do. Poison jizz. Yeah. You ever get fucking a cum shot on your face from a Jurassic dinosaur, dude? That, was, that scene More was of actually... More a Cretaceous dinosaur. Directed by Dan <laughs> Schneider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got fucking plastered, man. Yeah, dude. Yep. Yeah, that, was, that, that scene was sick. The puppet went off. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the fucking fans. <laughs> Yeah. And, like it, for, for me, it's the way the lips curl is like the scariest part for me. Yes, it's menacing as shit, dude. That's what's missing from all the new ones, where it's like, oh, even the cute one. Yeah, there's like he's playing like, ew, ew. he's like, okay, little guy, yeah. I don't have any food. Sorry, I don't have any snacks. And and that like present danger is always there. Yeah, it's not like that in the. I don't. It doesn't feel like that in the new ones because if it's just computers, it just doesn't. It doesn't like feel that. like they have weight to them or anything. Exactly. Yeah. I, I say this to say, I kind of liked Jurassic World. I, I liked it enough. It, it doesn't touch this at all. Mm-hmm. Um, to me, it's honestly better than three, even. Like, it's a good interpretation of the story, and it's a good continuation of the story. Let me say that. I might have to, like, go through Because it's, a, again, it's like honest. a Disney... It's like Jurassic Park, but it's like, okay, we're actually making this, like, Disney World. Mm-hmm. And it's even worse. Like, it's even more fucking egregious like all of the the shit that they do totally but that fucking dinosaur shamu thing dude the one that lives in like the ocean that they created for it oh yeah oh yeah that is by far the coolest fucking dinosaur in that movie dude yeah that prehistoric like lizard whale that comes out yeah. like Ur-gum. i fucking love that they dinosaur. feed it like a t-rex yeah or yeah something no dude like it they it eats the babysitter that they have <laughs> Like so, she has the worst day ever. She's <laughs> she's taking care yeah, of arguably. she's taking care of these little fuckers yeah. who are just fucking off and doing whatever. Little guys. And then one of the pterodactyls, when they escape, it picks her up. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, I remember laughing and, so hard. And it flies that. her through the air. She's like, oh fuck! And then it drops her. <laughs> and then immediately the fucking d- the dino whale goes yonk! Like as soon as it's a- she's about to land in the water, I was yeah. like. That's great. Yeah, yeah. that's cinema. That's for me. cinema yeah. for me, dude. <laughs> Definitely. And then you yeah. have b- fucking the actual uh, what's his name? Jimmy Buffett with the margaritas. What? What? Jimmy Buffett's in the movie? No, yeah. just it's a cameo. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so like the dinosaurs are attacking, and then you just see like a quick shot of Jimmy Buffett with two margaritas. Like, oh fuck! <laughs> He's like trying to get out of He's there. Like, oh, oh shit! Sh- the gummy really did kick in. 
<laughs> on his way to Margaritaville, just yeah. like, oh no, the dinosaurs. Yeah. He literally has two margaritas. He's like, oh shit, I gotta get out of here. Coming out of the Rainforest Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, it's hilarious, dude. Yeah. So there are, there are parts that are good, and then Bryce Dallas Howard is a gr- great actor. Good fucking actress. Yeah. Great actress. Um, it's, I like World, and then they're fucking stupid as shit after that one. I think it's so funny that like there's five or six of these. That like, no, this time the park will be fine. <laughs> yes, each yeah. time, you know, they're like, no, we made the fences taller. The only time it's like, like, the narratively, it makes sense is two when they like secretly go to the island that they are because it's not like an operating park or anything. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. And then also, I think it was cool to point out, even in this one alluded to it, like once this technology is there, smuggling and illegal versions of it is going to show up immediately. Yeah, right. Too, so. I mean, they're alluding to a whole other conglomerate that is trying to create their own dinosaur land, basically. Shout out to capitalism, dude. Dude, it doesn't ruin shit. doesn't ruin anything. I like my it's steel fine. books. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't care if they're made out of dino bones, dude. Yeah, dude. Let's start calling them dinos on Reddit, guys. And then, Shut the fuck up, idiot. Remember he was like, can we call them? Oh my God, can yes. We, can we call our steel books Titan books or whatever the fuck? Tin books. Tin books. Yeah, let's fucking shut shit. the fuck up. Great point, nerd. Let's rebrand the whole industry. What the fuck are you talking about? Because one guy on Reddit, are you kidding me? Shut up. Dumb dick. Dude. <laughs> That's a du- fucking certified, certified dumb dick moment. <laughs> Seriously. I want to real quick shout out Jurassic Park updates on Twitter. Oh yes. Just oh, just my go God. it's 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 a Twitter that is tweeting as if it was like a the employees at Jurassic Park. Please fucking go watch it. They're just like you go on there and it's just like we we're missing forty to fifty dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> pull, pull up some examples. I'll dude. put them on screen. That they're fucking hilarious, but um one of my favorites ones <laughs> was is just a tweet that says the dinosaurs are so big <laughs> 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 Fucking like it's someone's me. first day like i never realized guys yeah and it's like hey, and one of them's like parks closed today we narrowly escaped on a helicopter we'll be back <laughs> in the summer dude it's it's so fucking funny and it's still going but shout out to that to check that that's out. amazing yeah um, that's a funny fucking account seriously um what else we got here? Uh, sh- no music during the T-Rex scene, too. Mm. That is another one That's of those examples. That's how you know, dude. It's about the fucking reservation of great music, yeah. too. It's like you have John Williams, who can literally put a score over anything and everything. The decision to br- rein it in, dude. Let's bring it back. Just fucking... Just let the whole scene's tension play out. Fuck, man. Fuck. It's the most iconic... One of the most iconic scenes, the water shot, all of it. I no music. For like blockbuster movies, like summer fun, top down, convertible fun top. When I think of blockbuster movies, summer fun movies, that is the scene I think of. Dude, it's like Absolutely. the epitome of that. It, yeah. It, what it is also is Spielberg is a master of problems within problems within problems. Yeah, so you've yeah. got a T Rex here, but now she's drowning in the mud underneath the squash car. But now the car is turning and you got to avoid the turning car. Right. Yeah. But now the car is coming over the fucking cliff. But and now your parents kid, are getting divorced. There's a kid in the car and your parents are getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> As a T Rex. He left us. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up. There's he a T Rex. We're dealing with a T Rex. He's like, yeah, but I need therapy. So your dad doesn't love you okay god wasn't hugged enough <laughs> um i don't yeah. know why i just imagine like she's stuck and he's like hold on and he farts on her he's like why'd you, t- <laughs> why'd you do that it's another problem dude oh it's so convoluted what a chaotic <laughs> issue we have here <laughs> it, but picking backing off of that dude uh, jeff Goldblum go bloom in the the jeep when they're running away or they're driving away from the t-rex must go faster must go faster oh my god fuck man yeah, yeah. Can you go faster? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm. He just stutters. Yeah. And it's just like rizzy somehow. Go yeah. A little faster. Mm. And then he falls on the stick shift. He's like, Another. I'm currently edging and jelking. Could you please go a little faster? <laughs> Must yeah. go faster. Yeah, but um, let's see. There's yes. two other things yes, I yes, wanted. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Faster? Mm. Mm. Let's just do that for 20 more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's how he edges. <laughs> yes. Mm, no. Mm-hmm. Relax. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> and start back up again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Him doing a JOI is something I want to see. <laughs> oh, oh, mm, mm, come. Finds a way. Mm. <laughs> Five. Mm, four. Mm, <laughs> three. Two. <laughs> oh, God. This show sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the uh, crustacean period. Yeah. <laughs> crustacean period. <laughs> 
Fuck um, you, man. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to shout out, like, nothing good ever happens with fucking scientists and eggs in any, like, film franchise. Alien, Jurassic Park. Species. Never, never nothing, good's coming, nothing good's coming out of that egg. Nah. Just, yeah. just honestly, fry them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, little guy. Come on. Poof. Yeah, it was a raptor. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Just pull, fine. A, just pull an immaculate. Yeah. Um, the kid on the fence that gets zapped by 10,000 <laughs> volts. Dude. I'm not trying to question realism in a, in a movie with dinosaurs, Yeah, but his limb should have flown off, dude. What's <laughs> crazy is they cut out his original line. When he got up, he said, Shaq V. <laughs> <laughs> that was shaq Dude. And then Ace Freely came along and was like, Shaq. <laughs> 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 and he played a fucking half, halfly intelligible guitar solo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An out of tune, flaccid dick solo. <laughs> but the tension of that scene, just the switch is going down to the zap. Oh, man. And then they just turn him into Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> but but I, lo- I love how he flies off right the- where you <laughs> are. <laughs> Little blue kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheese pizza. <laughs> I'm putting it in there. Right where you are. Is it right where you are? It's a little kid going. <laughs> he just fucking destroys a, a raptor with a fucking. <laughs> fucking evaporates him dude she's getting older every day <laughs> i'm perfect kid, kid on mars putting together legos yeah set. <laughs> putting together legos on mars doesn't give a fuck anymore anyways his book was much bigger than yours dr allen shut up you little shit do you think i would have told you about my plan <laughs> i released the dinosaurs 35 minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wanted to shout out also, um, there's just one particular shot when the raptors break into the lab and the projector of the genetic oh. the genetic code on the raptor. That was sick. So fucking, fucking brilliant. Just just the, like, it literally in your face metaphor, but such a cool one. I love even before that, though, the, the raptor shadow behind the, the wallpaper oh, raptor. Oh, yes. That was good, but then the fucking, the actual DNA code on top of the raptor. It's fucking so good. Fucking shit, man. It's Steven a classic, Spielberg, man. And then he pauses the movie and he walks on screen and he goes, "Hi, Steven Spielberg here. Just wanted to make sure you got this metaphor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just want to this... thank you for enjoying this movie in IMAX. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this his last best movie? Saving Private Ryan. Mm. Yeah, I, I'd have to look at his filmography, but that's Save another Private another classic. Bridge of Spies, Munich. Yeah, but those don't touch with the blockbuster. Munich. They In don't terms touch of the, the blockbuster yeah. cultural significance. No. You don't see Munich action figures. <laughs> Just like fucking Hitman Jew. Neither do we <laughs> fucking. Neither neither does uh, Saving Private Ryan. No. It's it that was yeah. a for sure like that was like a that was a Magnolia movie. It's I a mean, certified banger. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is like what theme parks are about. Yeah. This movie. Yeah. Like, like literally and figuratively. Damn. So he hasn't re- he hasn't reached the highs of Jurassic Park. This might be his last like, if I'm thinking like blockbuster franchises. Yeah, because yeah. because now everything's so. Oh, I forgot about War Horse, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> where there's a horse. In, oh, dude, but war. it was a war, dude. West Side Story. What are we thinking, dude? It's when the horse defeated Hitler. Remember that, dude? West World Side Story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? I mean, he Ready Player One. It, I never saw that. That's Shit. a franchise type movie, but it's just so computerized. It doesn't feel like this. No, no, God, no. Imagine if Ready Player One had half the practical effects of this. I mean, did, the dude's know? like 167. He doesn't need to he do anything, really. Yeah. I just, I don't know, man. I, I, I really do like his shit, yeah. obviously. Yeah, for sure. He's, he's, I don't know if he's, at, at, whenever we were kids, it was like, oh, yeah, director Steven Spielberg. Like, he was the director. He's, there was yeah. one. And yeah. he was it. He's synonymous with grand adventure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's just like, but like, I don't know that that weight. I mean, <clears throat> obviously the the name carries weight, but it's just the Fablemans. You know what I mean? Like, I never. Totally. I haven't seen. I think a Steven Spielberg movie in twenty years. Yeah, you have. Catch me if you can. That was like two thousand four. 
You didn't see Ready Player One? We did an episode on it, pretty mm, sure. No, 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 it came out before we started the podcast. Oh, whatever. I don't know. Either man. way, I haven't seen. There's yeah. a ton of movies that I've seen that I didn't even realize were Spielberg too. Oh uh, yeah, you're probably right. There's those where it's like that didn't even have his signature on it. There's shit like that too. Bridge of Spies. <sighs> yeah, that's a, that's a banger. I fucking love that movie. So I haven't seen it. I need to watch it though. Dude, it's so fucking good. It's crazy when they the spies go on the bridge. It's they so become crazy. a bridge of spies. They all link hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Holding. like a barrel of monkeys. That's but the great spies. <laughs> yeah, but it's spies. <laughs> it's so strange. So cool. And there's so much tension in the scene. Yeah. Literally, They're you know? James Bonded, if you will. Wow. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> she ate. <laughs> she ate. That's about it for me on this. Yeah, yeah I don't have much We're more. going really long. Let's yeah. wrap it up. All right. Is it cinema? With Marty Scorsese. We have to determine whether or not Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park is cinema. Yeah, duh. Fucking, fucking even, duh. Fucking yeah. Get your yeah. shit together, stupid. What the fuck you think we're doing here? <laughs> yeah. if you're listening to podcasts for the first time. It's how we determine whether or not a movie's good, or, good or bad. Obviously, it's fucking cinema, and Orson Welles agrees with us. But now we have to determine whether or not it is it. Four, three, four, B. Is it yeah. the be all end all? Is it the Criterion Collection Collective of the fucking podcast? Is it on the best of list? Uh, Chris. Yep. Ah, yep. Ah, ah, ah. Absolutely easy. easy. Speed run. Speed run. It's sitting here on laser disc. Yeah. Fuck He's wearing mean? the shirt. I'm wearing the shirt. <laughs> wearing a shirt. Also, best movie poster of all time? Question ever. Mark? Pro- probably. Probably yeah. ever. Probably genuinely. Ever. Yeah. It's just the title treatment. And that's it. it just, fuck you. That gives my like that releases dopamine every time I see it. I, the same for me, but for Batman '89. Ooh, totally see that. Every I time I see that logo, that poster, that that exact artwork, I'm like. I'm in it. I've seen you pick up anything with that logo, even if, if you have it or not, a thousand times. Just to revel in it. You're, you yeah. see it and you just go, huh. Oh. Yeah. And you pick it up and you're like, yeah, I have this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like yeah. this moment that you just have to like. It's just something about that color scheme, the logo, the way it fucking it glistens. It's just. The oh. way it formed neural pathways in your brain. Yep. Yeah. yeah. 100%. 100%. I just see it all. I see the whole movie when I see that. Um, yeah. But this logo, same thing, dude. Yep. And it's it hasn't changed. It's, just, it's the same as the book. Mm-hmm. Same logo. Sick. It's amazing. Whoever Full. whoever did that, she ate, dude. Dude. Exactly. Ate. Also, my favorite interpretation of this is the Weird Owl. Um, the Weird Owl version. Have you seen it? No. He, you know he he made a, a song called Jurassic Park, right? No. Never heard that. I'll cut it in here. Jurassic Park is frightening. Yeah, dude. Weird Owl Jurassic Park song. You never we were watching that. Alright. So, anyways, um his uh his version, he did an album cover. And it's the Jurassic Park T Rex, but it's Weird Al's head. It's nice. fucking great. Nice. That's Anyways, awesome. Uh, iconic movie poster, and they haven't changed it since. So they they did a little variation for Jurassic World. They took the red out of it. That pissed me off. Yeah, but yeah, it's like the yellow one, the yellow logo. When it's just the gold, yeah. Me, I think this one is kind of well. Jurassic Park that. Three is just red. Like, see, this is even a slight variation that I don't fully love. You want, the, you want the yellow? You want the yellow, yeah, the yellow outline with the red, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got the Ultimate Trilogy, and this is one of those tall, annoying DVD... Uh, oh, yeah. Tall boys, but... But there were Blu-rays. That pisses me off. Yeah, I still haven't gotten a 4K to replace these yet, to be honest. Walmart has those now. Nice. The Jurassic Park 4Ks. Hell, yeah. On Steelbook. Hell, yeah, dude. Fuck, yeah. All right, anyways. Walmart's the king now. Physical media. I yeah. did pre-order that Dune 2 Steely from that link you sent. Let's so. fucking go, dude. Yeah. Dude, I didn't, King shit. I, I want that fucking glow-in-the-dark one. I didn't at first, but then I... What? With the floating heads? The blue one? That shit sucks, dude. <laughs> I think it's cool. It's just floating heads. It's not even cool. I just I just love the movie so much I want all the variations of it. I get it. Fuck well, you, Whether though. it's good or not. <laughs> I get you. Fuck you, it. though. You're wrong, but fuck You're you. You're wrong, dude. Don't get that. You, you a... already have it. Shut the fuck up. I don't have it, dude. <laughs> You got three copies. You yeah, seen. I, I got the Bene Gesserit edition of the Steelbook. That's the best. That one. that one does go hard. Of course, the European, arguably one. the best one. Of course, it's not yeah, in it's, America. It's at the UK all, yeah. version doesn't even say do not it. I just a found it. Yeah, like, yeah. I found a movie trading company for like four dollars. No big deal. Nope. Fuck you. I no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was, so yeah you paid a hundred dollars on eBay for that. It was like seventy bucks. Yeah. <laughs> You don't get those. I mean, it's I've worth done, it. I, yeah, I've done a few of those. Blade Runner twenty forty nine had to. Yeah, yeah dude, that, that's that the only one I want. Like, because I see the other edition, the one with like, Anna de Armas on it. Yeah, dude, the purple. the color scheme on that. Yeah, it's the only one. Yeah, and then I go on on eBay and I'm like, nah, I can't justify it. More yeah. like Blade yeah. Comer, dude. Hell yeah, 
It works. All right. You know? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's cinema, fucking whatever. DMTs. Dumb movie title for me is We Bought a Dino Zoo. Yeah, We Bought a Dinosaur yeah. Zoo. I like it. Dinosaur, kind of long. Dino Zoo, right? I like Dinosaur Zoo. All right. I think Dino Zoo flows better. I'm just thinking of it. Fuck get, you. I'm just. I'm just feeling. I'm just seeing it getting turning into ellipses on all the fucking platforms we upload to. Mm. You know, we bought it and then it's just dot dot dot. It's yeah. too long. Yeah. I uh, just have Dino Disaster. That's it. An affront to God. And <laughs> hey. the, it's like <laughs> bib- it's like biblical with it. Uh, and the <laughs> of the natural world. That's what he said. Yeah. All right. It's the mm, uh, of the. Mm, it's natural, the uh, mm, rape of the uh, mm, uh, natural mm, uh, um, world. Uh, World, All right. and they're like, put your chest hair away. Yeah, aren't you a scientist? You're, he's like, you're a mathematician. He's like, I broke my leg, and he's like, <sighs> that shot <laughs> oh, of him just like, fuck. Oh. yeah. I want that on a t-shirt. That'd be hilarious. That's like an iconic. Yeah. that frame of yeah. That's Come good. on, sweaty. Just but someone put up a billboard like in LA with just that shot. Like, really? Yeah. That's hilarious. All right, 40th anniversary edition. <laughs> uh, what do we do? Fucking. What game? Actor game for Jeff Goldblum or all right. Actor game for T Rex. Oh fuck! It's your birthday. You go ahead. Jeff Goldblum, Jurassic Park. Uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. The Fly. Um. Oh, the uh, amazing film that we all loved. Hmm. Hmm. Holy fucking shit, dude. I'm blanking on it, too. I know what you're thinking of. I'm gonna end myself. I'm out. I know exactly what you're thinking yeah. of. Is it, it's like Roswell or something? Yeah. What is no, it called? I mean, you're giving it to him more yeah, so. Fuck it, yeah, fuck it, we're out. He already has it. Asteroid City. There we go. Asteroid City. Asteroid City. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Do you have another one? I'm Asteroid out, yeah. City. Do you um... Yeah, Ed TV. He was in that. Nice. With Matthew McConaughey. Shouts to me. Can't name many for him, no, to be same. honest with yeah. you. It's like The Fly, this, and a couple of And Wes all the Anderson's. apartments.com commercials. Uh, yes. Earth Girls Have It Easy. Oh, that's a great movie. You're right. With Jim Carrey and also Damon Wayne. Or not Damon Wayne's. Uh, Marlon. No. Oh, the the older, oldest one. Yeah. Fuck. He's yeah. a Wayne's brother. Yeah. Damon. Because it's Marlon. Damon. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Doesn't matter. One of them. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, dude. Doesn't hey, matter at man. All. Josh, they're all the same, this, Rodrigo. <laughs> this guy doesn't think black actors matter. Okay, Chris. <laughs> I'm specifically the, saying the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. All right. Thanks for listening to There Are So Many Movies. Um, check out Jurassic Park if you haven't. Uh, 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 uh. That's on Patreon for yeah. five bucks a month. Yeah. Five bucks a month. Uh, check, uh, yeah, give us money. <laughs> just went full Spielberg on, on that one. Just Five tra- bucks a month or $55 for the entire fucking year, dude. Yeah, it'd be helpful. A whole year. Support the pod. Love y'all. At the discount. Later, Toads. Bionging. Be.